sun does. In this town, the crows are out and about long before the people. Your change is 20 yen. Thanks for shopping with us today. you again since you got left out can I get in on this <gasps> I want in on the free food too one bento please <laughs> yeah I'm really not supposed to do that sorry Ah, for real? But I saw you sharing with the crows. If you need a sob story, I missed the last train and walked all the way here from Shinjuku. Oh, pretty please, just pretend I'm a crow. Uh, fine. I only have the seaweed kind, though. Score! <laughs> okay, I gotta go. Our secret. Before you leave, tell me your first name, Uozumi. Uh, it's Rikuo. <laughs> well, thanks, Rikuo. I'm Haru, by the way. You in school? Nope. I finished college this year. Now I just do this. Do you like crows? I don't really know. I guess once you're used to them, they're okay. This one's name is Kansuke. He's a cutie. See ya! Thanks so much for the snack! What a weird girl. Yo, there you are, man. I've been looking all over. Get your butt back to work. Sorry, Kinoshita. Some work today, champ. What a joke. And this is it. So, chances are we aren't both gonna find real jobs around here. And we aren't students now. Unfortunately, working part time isn't going to get us anywhere. place never changes. It's the mess that transcends time. That's great. And what, no gifts for your starving friend? Explain to me why I should spend my hard-earned money on a slacker? <laughs> anyway, did you get that letter about the reunion? Are we really gonna do that? It hasn't even been a year. Yeah, but six months in the real world takes its toll. Everybody wants a chance to rant freely. Nah, I'm gonna pass. My failure to land a job will only bring down the room. I'd hate to ruin the rant fest. You didn't fail to get a job. You never looked for one. Seriously, you didn't job hunt at all. Well, I did at first. A little. And it made me realize there isn't anything I'm dying to do. Get real. It's not like everyone else from college is out there doing their dream job. You spend all day working at the convenience store to make ends meet. How's that any different? It's just a part-time gig, so it's not as stressful. If I get bored of it, I can quit. Plus, expectations are incredibly low for part-timers. Sure, just show up to the reunion, okay? All the usual suspects will be there, including Shinako Morinome. Uh, are you okay, ma'am? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Just caught off guard because she's in Konozawa. Nope. She transferred to a high school in town. <laughs> uh, so there's something I've always wondered. Were you and Shinako every day? We weren't. That's a bit of a shock. You guys did pretty much everything together. I just always assumed. So you're friends then. Good friends. Hey, Oriko! Oh, it's you again. Dang, don't you think my voice sounds weird? Sounds bubbly to me, like always. Oh, Kinoshita! Do you hear that? I checked it up at karaoke. 
Ah, we should go together sometime. For sure. <laughs> Only if you'll be paying, though. <laughs> uh, shoot, I gotta get to work. Well, glad I could swing by and say what's up. See ya. Bye-bye. Man, I wish Haru would come visit every day. I don't know. She's a bit weird if you ask me. She's best buds with a crow. You've got to admit that's odd. <sighs> you moron. It's a fundamental rule that cute girls can do whatever they feel like. You sure about that? Yeah, I know girls. <gasps> so, were you into the older ladies? Ozumi. Uh, welcome. What can... <clears throat> we missed you. Hey, Shinako. I, uh, brought some leftovers from the reunion today. You're not starving without me around, are you? Huh. Well... Uh, hi there. You seem really busy. There's a super yummy family restaurant on Kanana Avenue. Come find me there when you're done. Explain yourself, man. Are you dating that babe? Have a good night. Uh, so, that means you were only working there for about three months, right? Yeah. I was lucky and found the high school job soon after. And you? You haven't changed at all. I'm of the belief that people can't change all that much in just half a year. I think that's a good thing. It had been a while since I'd last seen Shinako. She was exactly the same, too. Come on, there has to be something you want to do. For example, I want to be a teacher. And again, you shouldn't skip class. She's always been so caring. Your preferred method of travel is still the same. I get it. I'm sorry you couldn't drive us home. Don't be. I wasn't expecting you to. Look, remember this place? We used to take this exact same path really late at night. Yeah, we'd go this way when we missed the train. An aimless conversation, yet again, is he drinking, I guess. <laughs> we were just babies. I'm not sure if she knew how I felt, but her guard was down. Unlike you, I haven't done a whole lot since then. Except live as the textbook example of a slacker. After watching you as a student all those years, I can't really picture you busting your butt in an office and dressing fancy. I can't compete with her. Not even a little. No offense. But I think you're the kind of person who does better with someone taking care of them. I wonder... If that's why I like her. This is it. Thank you for walking me home. See you around. Hey, real quick. Hmm? You should come by the convenience store again. Yeah, I sure will. Woes me, check it. What's on it? My band's about to drop a new CD. We're looking for an uber sick picture to throw on the cover. Huh? I'm no pro, I just take pictures for fun. No worries, we're all amateurs too. Cool, thanks man. Yeah, I never said I'd do it though. Music, huh? Maybe I should have gotten into something like that. Things might have turned out differently if I had. Ah! <laughs> Wait, isn't this... What are you doing out here? Picking Kotsuke for a walk. He has a bad leg. Come on! Let's sit down if you want to talk so bad. Hey! What the hell am I doing with my life? Have a little fun, buddy. Be honest. Does your family think this is weird? I don't know anybody else with a pet crow. I don't have a family. So you live alone? Yep, that's right. Kotsuke's the only family I've got. Care to share? <coughs> no, you're still in high school, aren't you? I go to Tokyo U. Somehow I doubt that. You know the only reason I even go to that store is so I can see you. Oh gee, thanks. For real? You could turn up the appreciation a little, dude. I'm not desperate enough to enjoy some random chick following me around. Kinda creeps me out. Look at that. Someone's playing hard to get, huh? It's not every day an equally mysterious and gorgeous girl hits on you. You know, we actually met a long time ago. I seriously doubt you remember. I can't seem to recall. You sure? If you had a halfway decent memory, my true identity would be revealed. 
It's fine that way. There are too many things in my life I'd rather forget about. On a snowy day five years back, our paths first crossed. You really don't remember, do you? <gasps> hey yo! You fine young gentlemen working hard, or are you hardly working? Sounds like you're bringing the energy tonight. Hold up. Where's Rico? You just missed him. He ducked out after that Earth Angel showed up here again. Are you just now leaving the school? Yep. A student needed to talk to me a bit. I won't bore you with the details. Hmm. Pound ya! <laughs> now I've caught you red-handed! You monster, you! You've been lying to me this whole time! Get off! I was watching this show where this woman caught her SO cheating, and I figured memorizing her little speech would come in handy someday. Shut up! Don't give her the wrong idea! <laughs> Hiya there, how goes it? It's so nice to meet... And with that, I'd better get going. Nonaka. Hmm? Nonaka, please don't go. Wait a sec. You know each other? Yeah, how's it going there, Teach? It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm surprised to find you with this goober. How are you? What have you been up to these days? I'm good and nothing much. I'm working part-time and making an okay living. Not that it matters to you, I'm out of your jurisdiction now. Yes, you are. I want you to know. I still really regret what happened. I'm so sorry. Give me a break. I didn't quit school because I was fed up with my teachers. Please know it wasn't your fault at all. Now that that's cleared up, I bid you adieu. That girl, she was a student in my class. The school found out that she was working part-time at this bar type of restaurant. So they suspended her immediately. Well, that makes sense if she was working at a bar. Anyway, from what I can tell, she's doing pretty good now. So there's no need to worry, yeah? I hope not. She's a bit of an odd duck, but she has a very kind heart. Be sure to treat her right. <laughs> Something wrong? Bye. Thanks a ton for walking me home. Anytime. See you later. <laughs> huh? Haru? What happened to cause all that exasperated sighing? What the? I thought you went home. She took off without a hint of hesitation. Guess that means she doesn't like you back, huh? What? Mm, I see how it is. What's your deal? You have a secret crush on a buddy from college. No wonder you're so cautious. One wrong move and you could end up losing all your mutual friends. That's scary stuff. Jeez, like you would know. But don't worry, you'll be totally fine. Just be sure to back down after she rejects you. Look, Teach is a real sweetheart. She'll be nice. I bet she'll even stay friends with you like nothing ever happened. Probably. You're the devil in disguise, you know. <laughs> oh, by the way, that thing you said about the two of us meeting a long time ago, sorry, I still can't remember it. I've changed. I'm sure that's why. Oh, shit! Drop this. Uh, that's the most important thing I own. Hey, thanks a lot. Oh yeah, that was you. You better thank me. Relationships are just these fleeting illusions. I know that. Yet I've spent five years pursuing this one. Just kidding! That 
last part was a big fat lie. Who would ever do that? Congrats, you just got pranked. Fight! I'm so confused. That mysterious Minx came by yesterday. Oh, yeah, I got a call from her last night. I don't get what makes you so damn popular. Please, teach me your ways, Master. Uh, popular isn't a word I'd use. And I'm afraid the girl you're talking about only thinks of me as a friend. You like her, right? I do, but I mean, look at me. It's way safer to just keep things the way they are. I don't have a real job, and she's already teaching high school. Right now, I admire her. And who knows, if we start dating, that feeling might go away. What are you on about? I don't get you at all, man. Well, thankfully you don't have to. You spend so much time dancing around life. Huh? Do you think you'd look stupid if you actually started caring about stuff? You use self-deprecation to give yourself an easy way out. No matter where the chips fall, you aren't going to get hurt. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm definitely not one to talk. I've been using music to avoid getting a proper job for years. It's funny. People always give me these pep talks, and I never have a clue what to say. I'm a societal outcast. I can't hope to relate. Plus, I don't feel qualified to talk about that kind of stuff to people who are actually working hard. Is that why I always revert to self-deprecation? No. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's because I'm high on the phrase societal outcast. Jeez. Rather than find a career, rather than confess to my crush, rather than do anything that could hurt me, I do nothing. Just so I can keep up appearances. Hey, what's up, Luozumi? I'm sorry to call you so late. Want to find somewhere to sit? No. Right here is fine. <laughs> For a long time, I've needed to tell you this. Here goes. I like you, Shinako. Well, I like you too. No, not like that. I mean, I like you in the more than friends kind of way. I'm sure you're thinking, why couldn't he have hit me with this sooner? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of wishing I had told you sooner, too. It's just that I know timing is important. I didn't want to look dumb, but now... <laughs> Maybe we could just stay friends? <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. I didn't come here with any big expectations. I just needed some closure for myself. That's all I wanted to say. Tonight. <sighs> get it together! I was supposed to get rejected at graduation. It's my fault for dragging it out. <sighs> Everything is gonna be fine. Just peachy. Damn it! I'm sick of life! The weather's nice today. I could go take that photo Kinoshita asked for. Why not, right? Maybe the park wasn't the best move. This place isn't punk at all. Can I have a cigarette? Haru. Yo! What the heck happened to your forehead? First off, I got turned down from what you would call a fleeting illusion. Then I ate dirt on my bike. Something came over me and I attempted a personal transformation. I was trying to confront all the lies I tell myself and thought, Hey, just do it. See what happens. And... Massive shock, nothing happened. Now I'm stuck right back where I've always been. One change, I'm way more over being me. 
I admire you. People say they hate liars, but if you look closely, they love them. You're a big liar. Liars live BS lives just playing along with what other people say. There's no way that they could hurt anybody or get hurt themselves. They make sure they don't matter. What's more, they're tired of dealing with everybody's crap. That's essentially why I dropped out of school. Liars lose nothing. But I guess on the flip side, they don't really gain anything either. Wow. We're more similar than I thought. I'm the biggest liar of them all. But for the first time, I want someone to like me. Guess I'm worried I'm out of places to run away to. Well then. Hey, you have a super fancy camera! I guess. It works okay. Hey, I know. How about I take your picture? Yeah, come on. Kinoshita needs something to put on the cover of his band CD. Uh, what do I do? Just stand there and act natural. This might work. You're totally half-assing this. Whatever. But fine, I'll indulge you. Okay, miss. I'm all done. I think short hair suits you quite nicely. Don't be such a killjoy, Riku. It's a beautiful day. Let's go somewhere fun, you lame-o. <laughs> I'm in the middle of work. Yo, Haru. I know a guy who'd go with you. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, my friend here? He's still busy picking up the pieces of his recently shattered heart. Have you no mercy? <laughs> wow. I didn't realize you'd be so upset about that, you big baby. Whatever, I'll just go alone. I'm out. 
Man, do you think I might have scared her off? Jeez, why does she burst in here every single day? For a chance to push your buttons, obviously. <sighs> do you have to be so mean to the poor girl all the time? I feel bad for her. What? I'm honestly not trying to be mean to her, you know. Come on, man. It was a swing and a miss with the other chick. It's time to switch gears. You haven't talked to her since she turned you down, huh? Good morning. Well, you're here rather early, Miss Morinome. Hi, Miss Morita. You're early, too. Today's your first graduation ceremony as a teacher. Are you feeling nervous at all? I mean, yeah. I graduated not too long ago myself. It's funny. Being on this side makes me feel like a real teacher. <laughs> uh, there will be an after party tonight. I say we chat about stuff then. Scoot a little bit to the left. Looking good. Say cheese. Cheese. We'll be sure to visit you. Good luck next year. <laughs> Excellent work. The ceremony went off without a hitch. Thank you, sir. So will we see you at the after party, Miss Morinome? Of course. officially transferring here until tomorrow, right? Whoa, you scared me, Shinako. You cut off your hair. That's not important. Explain yourself. Was dismantling the classroom necessary? The theme is graduation. The symmetry gives it a real academic feel, huh? You need to put everything back where you found it. You're lucky another teacher hasn't come along. <laughs> and yet again, the world is hostile towards great art. Stupid desk. Aren't your entrance exams coming up soon? What exactly are you doing out in Tokyo? Come on, I've explained this. We left home because my dad had to move here for work. But I never would have left Kanazawa if you were still there, Shinako. <sighs> you need to call me Miss Morinome when we're at school. <laughs> you should come over later. Dad's been wanting to see you. And I miss your world-famous cooking. No, sorry, I can't. All the teachers are going out to get drinks today. You choose those dorks over us? These are the kind of commitments that come with being a grown-up. Say hello to your dad for me. <sighs> when the heck did she start wearing makeup? Grown up my ass. <laughs> Tell me more about yourself. You lived in Kanazawa? That's right, all through high school. College brought me to Tokyo. I went back home for a bit while I was job hunting. Then I learned about the opening here. Mm -hmm. Isn't that lovely? Did you follow a boyfriend to the city? No, it's not like that at all. Okay, well, is there some steamy romance you left back in Kanazawa? <sighs> I mean, I wouldn't call it that. That's not a no. Okay, sister, fill me in. I know we're in the middle of a party, but let's hit the brakes for just a moment. Thank you all for all Lucky. your patience with the You'll students tell me and someday. determination to see them <laughs> succeed. Thank you! You guys ready for the after-after party? Sorry, but I should really get going. <sighs> Leaving so soon? All right, get home safe. You guys have fun.
Shinako. Oh, uh, what are you doing here? It's pretty late, you know. I could ask you the same thing. What's up? I live a couple minutes from here. I'm just walking home. Oh, that makes sense. So, I see you changed your hairdo. Yeah. It's something new. You seem different than usual. Anything on your mind? Just looking at the flowers. I don't even like cherry blossoms all that much, but I admit they're pretty. Yeah. Time flies, doesn't it? How has it already been a year since we graduated? No clue. It's so disappointing. I've noticed people don't really change or grow. We're not like time. It moves forward. Okay, what have you done to my friend? I'm gonna need Shinako the Optimist back. You don't get to talk like that anyway. That's reserved for stagnating losers like me. Well, you certainly aren't the best at reading people. If you can't tell, I'm stagnating too. It might seem like I'm growing or moving forward, but I promise that's not the case. I'm stuck in a loop, going round and round the same spot. You've got an early morning tomorrow, yeah? I'll walk you. Something wrong? I think I'll stay here a little bit longer. Okay, I can hang out here with you then. Oh no, you don't have to do that. My apartment's not too far. <laughs> what I did to you wasn't right, I know that. But I wasn't capable of doing anything else. You see me as this bright light. Don't you? You see this beautiful, ever-blossoming thing that in reality I couldn't be any more different from. All that I want right now is for you to see me as your friend again. I want to be able to hang out and laugh about dumb stuff like we used to. Please no. It's not like there's something wrong with you in the slightest. So, uh... Am I asking for too much? I'll try my best. I'm sorry. Ah! Uh... Haru? What are you doing out so late? It's not safe. Um, it isn't so late. I work as a hostess at a bar, dude. I just got off and I'm finally heading home. Besides, I always go this way. I should be asking you two why you're making goo-goo eyes on the playground. Oh, come on. Um, we're not. We just ran into each other. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. It's not like I give a crap either way. So sorry to intrude. She's not anything to me, by the way. It certainly seems like you're something to her. It isn't like that. She gets a kick out of messing with me. <laughs> I wonder where Haru is. It's creepy quiet in here. Whatever, I like the peace. Well, it's bringing me down. Uh, please don't tell me you went and made her hate you. Hey, Kinoshita? Yeah. Do you think men and women can be friends without wanting more? It's still getting to you, huh? I mean, I definitely wouldn't say no. But it takes balls to stay friends if you like her. What if she gets a boyfriend? You gonna just kick her to the curb? <sighs> I guess you need to ask yourself if you're up for that, knowing you could get hurt. So are you up for it? But what if you were friends first? Wouldn't it be kind of awful to give that up because you can't be in a relationship? That seems worse than just dealing with the pain. I don't want to ruin what we have over a crush. I'd rather have her as a friend than not have her at all. Is 
that wrong? Nah, I respect that you want to stay your friend, and if you can make it work, more power to you. Huh? Uh, just this? I know you. You're Uozumi, yeah? Huh? I don't want to waste time, so I'll get to the point. What's going on between you and Shinako? I'm going home. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you then. Yo, Miss Morinome. Uh. <gasps> Why are you here? To see you, duh. We have much to discuss. Let's hit the park and watch the cherry blossoms. They say you can't fight on an empty stomach. Finally, I'm starving. They're yummy if you want to try. Okay, so yeah, I was working in a bar, but I never had a single sip of alcohol. Oh well, I guess it doesn't mean anything to tell you that now, but at least you know. I absolutely believe you. Um, is that all? Not quite. Listen, Teach. You versus me. Let's have a contest. Huh? Don't play dumb with me! I saw you with Shinako Morinome the other night! Just tell it to me straight. How do you know her and what's your relationship? Our relationship? Slow down, kid. I don't even know you. My name is Ro Hayakawa. Shinako and I grew up together in Kanazawa. And that matters to me. Why? Uh, Come on! Are you really that dense? Okay, gents, we have company. You should take this outside. Keep it down so you don't freak out the customers. This will just take a second. Please, say whatever you need to say and make it quick. You are a pretty terrible match for Shinako. Huh? I've spent most of my life being her next door neighbor. We've been friends ever since I was born. I get that you're her friend too, but how much do you know about her? Jeez, for real? Why does it matter? <laughs> oh, so you don't know much. You have no idea who she was in Kanazawa. I guess she doesn't feel like you're close enough to share that stuff. Bye. Hold up. Tell me about it. Who was she there? <laughs> uh, what kind of contest? I think I get it now. Uozumi and I will never be anything but friends. It's not fair to me if you're friends. Even if Riku decided he wanted to be with me, it would just be some weird compromise. If we have a contest and I lose to you, then that's that. But I'm not gonna be his plan B. I understand, but I don't want to compete. Oh, then you should stop trying to make the friend thing work. What? You're gonna make me hold the spot all alone? I'd be so bored though. Fine. If you're gonna whine, I'll come. At least the weather's nice. Can you just handle it? Don't dump this on her. <laughs> just do it by yourself. Relax. It's not like you'd have anything better to do. Why'd you even reject him in the first place? It seems like staying friends is gonna be rough. If he's so important to you, why wouldn't you just date him? What's the deal? You think he's just some loser? It's hard to explain, but that's not why. So then, if you can ask why I don't like him, can I ask you why you do? Don't really know. One day I saw him and I felt it. Well, it's a trap. It sucks. It infects your brain with this beautiful story and doesn't leave until it gets a conclusion. Very poetic. Sounds like something you'd say. I get that feeling. I happen to be in love with someone, too. Thing is, he's been gone for a long time. So, who is this guy? My older brother, actually. He was Shinako's age. Died six years ago. He had bad heart problems for a really long time. Mom couldn't help. She passed away pretty soon after she had me. In some ways, Shinako took over as caretaker. 
She would come and check on my brother all the time. <sighs> he would act annoyed, but I know he appreciated it. To be honest, it was painful to watch. The day that he died, she spent the entire night staring at the cherry blossoms in her yard. But it's hard for her to see them now. They're a reminder of my brother. Just looking at the flowers. I'm stuck in a loop, going round and round the same spot. Talking like this made me realize something. I think I'm tired of being in love. Don't worry about me when it comes to Owozumi. I'm not in a place to love anyone. I thought you might be keeping Mikuo around as a backup, but I see that's not the case. You helped me make up my mind. About what? As of now, I'm upgrading the contest to an all-out war. I really like you, Teach, so I didn't want to act sneaky. Now you know. Anyway, I got places to go and people to see. Thanks for letting me say my piece. I feel way better. Bye, Miss Morinome. Oh, I uh. had one more thing. It was so not your fault I quit school. You didn't have anything to do with it, trust me. Hey, are you delinquents done fighting yet? What's up? Uh, not much. So, Ro, friend of yours, I met him today. Funny kid. He actually came by the store to talk to me. But I mean, that's not the reason I stopped by. The real reason I'm here is because, uh, okay, maybe I don't have one. I'm sorry. Well then, I'm gonna leave and pretend this didn't happen. I'm sorry it didn't come from me. I wasn't trying to hide it or anything. I thought if I told you, it might sound like an excuse. It's dumb, isn't it? I still can't let go. I'm stuck in my loop. While you're here, I think it's best if we stop being friends. If it's hard for either of us, it just won't work. You know what I mean? I do. I was thinking the same thing. I can't be friends with you. Don't get me wrong, I wanted to try. But I, I can't do it. I can't just erase the feelings I have for you. I mean, I can be nice, I can act friendly and all. <sighs> but I'd still be playing the game and wanting more than friendship. That's not fair. I disagree. Maybe we could. It's fine. It's actually better for me this way. I'd rather wait it out for something more. So there's no need to worry about me. I'm all good. Well. I guess I'd better get going. <sighs> I hate this. I hate that I actually feel relieved. Mind 
jokes are way better. You got it. I don't know. Hey. Look who finally decided to grace us with his presence. Sorry, there are no free samples today. Okay, very funny. Word is you got a new rival or something. I hope you can handle that. Word is it's none of your business, Haru. Uh, seriously? Get real. Look, it's raining. Hey, man. Head home before it gets bad. I can talk to the manager for you. Thanks, that'd be great. Is this good weather for stalking? Relax, we live in the same direction. Come on, don't spare me any details. About what? Your new and super mysterious rival, of course. And why exactly would you care about that? I have a curious soul. Oh, by the way, I went ahead and declared war against Miss Morinome. <laughs> that way, neither of us has to worry about hurting the other. I've been meaning to say this for a while, but I'm not the person you think I am. I promise hanging around me isn't going to do you any good. You could easily catch the attention of someone that has more going for them than I do. It's not like I hate you or anything like that. But I... I won't be very friendly. I don't think I can. There's too much going on. You seem to think I want this idealized version of you, but I don't have those expectations. Believe me, I get it. You have all kinds of junk on your mind right now. For example, your thing with Miss Morinome. I'm like a runner who missed the gun and started the race half a lap behind. It's unfortunate, but believe it or not, I'm actually pretty speedy. I'm not asking you to like me or even be nice to me. With all that being said, if you did fall in love with me, I wouldn't complain. Right now, though, I'm happy enough with the way things are. That weird? I hope not. I completely get how you feel. Question. What does it mean to be in love? That came out of nowhere. How should I know? <laughs> I don't know either! Yo, yo! Hey, Haru. Nico here? Sorry, he took off work again. For real? Three days in a row? Come on, am I not enough for you? Well, uh... Ouch, that burns. It feels like he's had a cold forever. Filling in for that fool is killing me. Maybe I kept him in the rain too long. If you're worried, you could try giving him a call. I don't even have his number. Really? That's so weird. I figured you would for sure. What, you think I pestered the poor guy 24-7? The truth is, I only get to see him whenever I drop by here. Well, I can give you his number. It wouldn't bother me. Huh? Don't you think it'd be a little creepy if I just got it without asking him? Oh, come on. Who cares? You're like one of us. It's about damn time it came down. Uh, I'm 
starving. Shinako? <coughs> What's up? Fukuda told me you were stuck in bed. Have you eaten already? Not yet. Good. It's veggies and takikomi rice. I made it for an older man I know who came down with a mean cold, too. I cooked way too much and figured you might need a snack. Well, that's kind. I appreciate you thinking of me. Uh, make sure to eat the rice while it's still warm. Good night, then. <sighs> Thanks for saving me. And Fukuda, I owe you one man. I don't know. I feel a little bit guilty, except... Hmm. Those two remind me of each other, in a way. Well, hey, Odiguo. Are you feeling better? I was. What the? Where'd Kinoshita go? He's out with a cold. Huh. Anyway, I have a surprise. Check it! We should go. Looks fun! Namagoras versus Hito Deran. What is this? I guess it's some new monster movie. A customer gave those to me. Oh, from the bar. Got some weird clientele. Maybe going to freaky movies will become our go-to date. Whatever, give them back. Uh, I feel like our conversation in the rain probably contributed to your cold. I thought this would be fun and help make it up to you. Come on, my getting sick wasn't your fault in the slightest. Cool, then I'll go with someone else. Gimme. I never told you I wouldn't go. So you wanna? When are we going? No customers on this side of the counter. <laughs> so much. See you again soon. <sighs> Crap. Damn thing ate my money. Lucky for you, I've got yummy leftovers. Uh, you sure? Of course I am. I've had a pretty awesome day, so I might as well share the happiness. That's a Toizumi High uniform, yeah? What? You should swing by milk hall soon. Oh, be sure to come during the day. <laughs> I'm glad it worked out. For whatever reason, I've never been a big moviegoer myself, but I thought I remembered you were into them. This movie looks pretty weird and intense. I don't think you're the target audience. Why don't you go on and head home? It's getting late. Uh, thanks, but I'm really almost finished. Are you sure? Yeah, I live close. I'll be just fine. <sighs> okay. Your family still lives here in Tokyo, isn't that right? Uh-huh. There are a couple stations down the line. I don't mean to be nosy, but why do you live by yourself if they're so close by? Uh, long story short, my grandpa passed away a few years ago and his place was up for grabs. Also, I took in Konsuke. <laughs> there are a million little reasons. About your parents, have you told them you're working here? This place is pretty tame for the most part, but we also serve alcohol at nighttime. No, I haven't told them yet, but I seriously doubt they would care. We try not to interfere with each other's lives too much. I see how it is, but aren't they lonely? I don't know. Huh? Oh, that reminds me. Can I start a little late on Sunday? Of course. I don't mind a bit. Thanks. I have to go meet a new character that day. A new character? Haru? 
Shogo Kawashima. He was one of my upperclassmen in college, but now he teaches English at the same middle school where I work. Ah, uh, hey. I approve. Do you? I'm honestly relieved. I was worried he was gonna be a creep like that mass media dude you dated. Oh, give me a break. That was nearly five years ago. When do you think you'll come and see us again? Not sure. Hey, hmm? Does it bother you that I go by the last name Nonaka? Not really. And why would it? That last name suits you well. Okay, cool. See you next time. name gives you such a sense of peace, don't you think? <laughs> What's up? Not much. I did see my mother for the first time in about three months, however. Her unending lectures give me the nastiest headache. Hard stuff, being the delinquent daughter. Yeah, that's right, your mom. Stop right there. With each word you say, you risk unraveling the great mystery known as Haru. She's an enigma. <laughs> Mysterious my ass. If you stick around, maybe you can peel back her layers. Then again, maybe not. And with that, I bid you farewell. <sighs> See you tomorrow. I'm looking forward to the flick. What was that about? Morinume is speaking. Hey, Shinako, this is Uozumi. Thank you for the food the other day. It was delicious. One thing, I'm not sure what to do with your containers. Uh, bring them by whenever. You all right? You sound off. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be better in no time. You should go before I get you sick. For all we know, you caught this from me. It's only fair now I take care of you. If your fever doesn't go down soon, I'll take you to the hospital. This makes me feel a little bit weird. Hmm? I'm usually the caregiver in these situations. Like back in Kanazawa? She talks like a widow. Thank goodness, her fever's come down some. Oh yeah, the movie's at 11, right? Maybe he's on his way. Hey there. What's a hottie like you doing all alone? Nothing? Don't feel like that. <sighs> Whatever. Moving on. Answer A. He forgot the plan and went to work. 
answer B totally stood me up. Answer C. Sorry. Please forgive me. Thank goodness. I was worried that you died or something. Sorry. So, where were you then? Uh, I was over at Shinako's apartment. No, not like that. It's just, she was sick, and I think she caught it from me. So I went to take care of her. She lives on her own. I couldn't leave her by herself. Guess I can't complain. I told you I don't have expectations. If she takes priority over me, so be it. Seventy-two yen. Thank you for shopping with us. I mean, isn't that just ridiculous? I'm like the dictionary definition of cool and collected, but even I was pissed. Yeah, I figured that part out a while ago. It's the tenth time I've heard this story. I've told you twice tops. So, are you giving up on this guy? Take a delivery for me, please. I've always kept a certain distance with people. It gives me the power to run away the second I need to. Hence why I never asked Rikuo for his number. Stopped going to the convenience store. How would be the end of that? Guess you can't control if you have expectations or not. I lied to him and myself. Now I just feel betrayed. Relationships are so self centered.
Get it out. So, how are you? You serious? I'm trying, okay? I'm all out of places to run away to. Haru Nonaka. Uh -huh. The name's Haru! 18 years old, 153 centimeters, and 42 kilograms. I work at a place called Milk Hall in the shopping district just around the corner. Part of my job is making deliveries, and that's where I'm headed right now. Huh? What are you doing? Introducing myself. I thought about it, and I decided to let you in on the mystery. Oh yeah, another thing about me is that I'm pissed as hell. I got stood up by some dude. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I seriously do regret it. Well, if you want to make it up to me. I actually live alone also, so check in if I get sick, okay? Fine, if it ever comes to that, I'll help. <laughs> oh, dearie me, I feel a fever coming on. Maybe it's because a certain someone left me waiting in the rain. Huh? <laughs> Take a break. We'll continue after lunch. Punctuality is as important as artistry. Finish your pieces on time. that chick. Hey, newbie. How you doing? Takisha, you startled me. How do you feel about the project? I hate it. I hate it, and I'm dying. Huh? People are using tools I've never seen before. I noticed a couple of them going straight for the brushes. Isn't it supposed to be a pencil sketch? I see. So you're stressing out over technique stuff? Don't worry about that junk. Those guys will bomb the entrance exams if they get too fancy. That said, every artist has a trick or two. For real? This place could not be any more different from the fine arts club at school. Everybody is super talented. I really wish I would have started here the second I was old enough. If you're just worried about technique, you'll pick that up in a year for sure. All it takes is hard work. Every artist is so desperate to get good. And that's great and all. But once you do, the whole thing is way more boring. Just wait. You're one of a million perfect hands drawing the same thing. It loses some charm. sent me some veggies from back home. I thought it'd be nice to share. <laughs> Sound good? I have a feeling you're hungry. Yeah, I'm so glad I didn't eat out. Just a second. I'll reheat it for you. Oh, let me help. Uh, wow, though. You've gotten quite a bit taller, huh? <laughs> I'm a growing boy, after all. You is only about 170 centimeters. You're going to be taller than him soon. Thanks a million.
How's Dad? I must have missed him. He already went to bed. But he said you coming home so late is the new normal around here. Uh, yeah. He also filled me in on why you've been spending all your time at that cram school. Damn it, Dad. I would have found out sometime. Why try to hide it? I mean, I don't want people to think I'm like some tryhard dork. You weirdo. Sounds like a lot to put yourself through. From my understanding, art school can get pretty intense. I guess. Why do I draw? When I was in second grade, this landscape painting I made won a prize in a big competition in our prefecture. Ever since, art has been my thing. At school, I became known as the kid who could draw. You're getting super good at drawing. I bet your brother wishes he had your skills. Drawing was mine. It was the one thing I could do better than him. You was very gifted, but so sickly. He was always the center of attention. But as long as I was drawing, As long as I was drawing, people saw me. It was the one way I could stand out from behind my brother's shadow. Are you headed back home for the break? The poem festival? Nope. I have class. Gotcha. I think I might go home. Ah, uh, I see. Something wrong? Mm -mm. Not at all. It's just the way that you said I see. You sounded a lot like your brother for a second. I guess that would make sense, huh? You're related after all. Shinako. Hmm? Be honest with me. Will you ever be able to get over your feelings for my brother? Goodness, no. It's hard. I don't want to see you tied down to a dead guy your whole life. But somehow, it would be worse for me if you found a random boyfriend. I get it. I'll never be a replica of him. I know that I can't take his place. I also know you'll never see me as separate from my brother. Come on. It's fine. I'll work hard the only way I know how. Until I prove myself to you. I'll do it. So pay attention. Listen. I think you're just imagining these feelings. We've been friends since we were tiny. That makes it feel like we know each other much better than we actually do. I truly care about you, but at this point I only see you as some kind of little brother. That stuff can change! I don't think it can. <laughs> so, what about your feelings then? You sure you were just imagining things about my brother? Because I think you might have been confused. Maybe all those feelings were just sympathy and not love. You're wrong. <laughs> you really think I haven't considered that? Of course I have. It's not like you, you know, to speak to me like that. Good afternoon. Delivery from Milk Hall. Sweet. You're my hero. Wait, where did your signature Milk Hall apron go? I can't wear that crap in public. 
Believe me, if the owner hadn't asked me to wear it, I would never be caught dead in some getup like this. It was her idea. Oh yeah, when I was interviewing, she was all like, Would you mind wearing a maid outfit? Word for word. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. She's always had a bit of a girly side to her. Oh, sounds like you know my boss huh? pretty well. <gasps> Bingo! The two of them were classmates all throughout high school. She shot him down at the graduation ceremony, and don't tell, but he's still not over it. Really? There's no reason to bring that up! <laughs> I'm sorry to barge you in. Never repeat that! Don't you dare tell Kyoko about this! <laughs> we thank you for ordering from us today. Did you need something? I just brought my registration form for the summer courses. <laughs> awesome. Well, give them your all. Right. What the hell? Shouldn't that be my line, kid? Just spit it out. What do you want? I want to be treated like a customer. Do you think I would come here just to look at your mopey face? I needed a couple of things, and this store is on the way to my cram school. Dang. The little high schooler is working too hard to get a summer break, huh? Sucks to be you. For now. But I'm just trying to avoid ending up like you, so... Say that again! I'm just speaking the truth, man. Hey! Yodi Guo! <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. oh! Uh, do you know each other or something? Uh, no, not exactly. He's a customer I know from Milk Hall. Well, he's almost a customer, I guess. Thanks for the coffee the other day. You don't need to thank me. Just visit me at work soon. That'll be 110 yen. <laughs> Hurry up and pay. Is that how you talk to all of your customers? <sighs> Whatever. Oh, gee. I wish someone would walk me home. Maybe you could help out. Or maybe I could worry about my own life. Why should I have to walk you home every time you ask? The hell? You're telling a cute young girl to go out walking by herself in the middle of the night? You make the walk like every night, though. You would do it if it was Miss Moni Nome. Am I really so different? Not cool. I see what's going on here. Huh? Have you had a backup girl this whole time? I'm gonna rat you out to Shinako. Come on! This thing is nothing like that! Hold the phone! What do you mean, this thing? Oh, wait, so... You must be Rikuo's rival I've heard so little about. Uh, that guy is not my rival! <laughs> Come on, man. For real. Stop messing around with this love triangle crap and help me, yeah? I'm not doing your job for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, you went to Toizumi High School too? Yeah, for a bit, but I dropped out. No kidding. Why'd you do that? After a while, I was just so sick of the place. Hmm. My life Whoa. sucks! Where did all that come from? Everybody seems to be so freaking hot for teacher. What's the big difference between her and poor little Haru? I've got no choice. Time to launch an investigation into the matter, unfortunately. Well, your first major data point can be that she has zero interest in me. Not so? Sucks too. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. I hope you succeed. <sighs> what could you possibly see in that loser? 
<laughs> Dunno. I can make it home from here. Thanks a ton for walking me. Uh, you sure? Is that hers? Meet Kotsuke, the crow! See ya! Finally home. Hey, Dad? Great. He left for Kanazawa today. Guess that means Shinako did too. Beardo, I left some curry in the fridge for you to reheat. And try to cook for yourself instead of eating out all the time. Shinako. Lucky me. She's so amazing. Chow time. Good stuff. She hasn't come back over since that night. If I had to guess, she'll be back after the Bone Festival and act like nothing weird ever happened. She's known me so long, she can read me like a book. I can make it uncomfortable to say sorry, or even thank you, at times. I'm still such a brat. Shinako! Hey, I just heard the music! It's gonna start any minute! Your brother isn't feeling well. You said you'd take me to the festival! You promised you'd go! But he... Mm. Just forget it! No, oh, please wait! Come back! I thought the reason Shinako started working in Tokyo or, like, the whole reason she left Kanazawa was because she was trying to forget my brother. But I was wrong. Now I realize she left home because she couldn't face life there anymore. Not without him. Looks like a heavy box you've got there. You know, maybe I should rent out this old house for the next couple of years. We'll be in Tokyo for the foreseeable future, it seems. <sighs> These are some of you's things. Going through this box might be good for us. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we both could use some help moving on. It's all right if we need to forget. Every once in a while, we can come back like this and remember. That's enough if you ask me. Scribbles. She wants to escape the reality of my brother's death, but she doesn't want to forget him. That's why she went back, and why she'll keep going back, I'm sure. I can't help. She has to deal with this herself.
the hell am I supposed to do now? I can't give up so easily. She's only rejected me once. Setting technique aside for a second, I think your art is really interesting. But why choose to bust your butt for a chance to go to school for it? It's the one thing I've got going for me. Same here. When I finally get to college, I'm gonna try to make art my identity. I'm cool with being the kid who can draw. You know? Don't tell the teachers, but I don't think you can learn art from other people. If you need the proper knowledge for your work to be considered good and knowing everything is impossible, the most important part of art is to just keep doing it. I like to draw, so I'm just going to keep doing it. Feel the same, newbie? I've been here for like a million years. No more newbie. <laughs> in decision. I've made my choice and I'm finally ready for my life to begin. I've got work to do. to hook me up with this gallery job. I wear a lot of hats here, working on the exhibits as well as your typical office stuff. Hey, Wozany. Can you tell me which of these three photos is the best? Uh, this one, maybe? Not quite. It's this one. It's very subtle, but the whites in the photo you chose are overexposed. And this one's a touch too dark. the same to me. Assessing the photos as they come out of the lab is a decent chunk of our job. If you were able to do that, it would be a huge help. Yeah, sure. Why don't you go grab the rest of the photos for me and we'll get started. Right. Pardon me. 
I heard that your gallery might be in the market for some part-time workers. Oh, the student from Toby University. That's me. Bye. Be back soon. Apologize for coming in unannounced. It's cool. I mean, you're gonna be working here anyway, yeah? Indeed. Wozumi, was it? The director told me about you. My name's Minato. It's a pleasure. So you're in college? Yeah. I'm about to go into my second year. So, like, what exactly does this place even specialize in? I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Well, we deal with just about everything. But the bulk of the work here is from up-and-coming photographers. Uh... not allowed in here. Huh? Is there a law against checking up on people at their first big boy job? Because that'd be crazy. What are you, my mom? Hurry up, I'm starving. You've got a little time before you gotta be at the convenience store, Please. yeah? I'm still working no, here, no, no. I know you. You're Haru. Uh, how odd. I don't quite remember how we've met. Oh, it's all coming back to me! Your name! It's Minato, right? Uh, yep, that's me. We were both in the same third year class. It's fine. I was fairly forgettable. Sorry. Cut me some slack. I dropped out. Plus, the beard is a recent addition, if I remember correctly. So, Minato, what kind of photos do you like to take? Documentary style. Cool. So you want to go into journalism, then? Uh-huh. You take any portraits or landscapes? Well, I'm not the biggest fan of portraits. They're a device to push the photographer's personal sentiments. Very self-indulgent. Well, I think the landscape photos are pretty, and that's about it. They're too shallow to be interesting. Documentary photography, on the other hand, can really speak to its viewer. And lightning flip! It has infinitely more substance. Now tell me, what type of camera do you use? I've been shopping around a little. Huh? Nothing fancy. I'm still using the cheap one I bought back in high school. The photo is much more than the quality of the camera. So I'm sure your old one does the job. When I first started out, I thought Leicas were the best on the market. But I'm finally getting a sense of what make and model suits me best. <laughs> Pardon me. I've got to get a move on to my next job, but... We should do this again sometime. Bye-bye. Hey, Nonaka. Yeah? Do you mind telling me where you work? He's so damn pretentious! And I'm gonna have to see that blowhard every day. Give him a break. It's impressive. He wasn't scared to speak his mind to his senior. Most people would be too intimidated. So he's brave? And also kind of good-looking. Awesome, then maybe you should start stalking him instead. Oh. Oh, hush. You should stop being so critical and keep an eye out for the poor guy. You're like his work brother <clears throat> now. Yeah, so he's an even bigger pain in my ass. <laughs> How may we help you? Huh? Hey, good evening. Sup, Minato? How nice. This friend of yours? Uh, we used to be in school together. So, are you on your way home from the gallery? No, I actually had some work at a publishing firm. Seemed kind of late for that, yeah? These publishing guys are nocturnal. Mm. Oh. One blend. Thank you. Hey, who owes me? I challenge you to one final uh, game of Mahjong. Uh, Let go of me! I just want to go home, man! Mm. Side of you. I've hardly ever seen you get drunk like this. What can I say? Going drinking sounded like the right move. 
So, like, did something happen, or...? Uh, oh, no, don't get the wrong idea. It's just, once summer is over, we're back into fall. Then winter comes along, and then it'll be spring. Thinking about that made me realize something. You know what? I think I might have finally managed to break out of that loop I was telling you about. Well, loop or not, I've still got to get you home. You're a pretty nice guy, aren't you? Thank you for walking with me. Oh, uh, I was going home this way anyway, so... How could I forget? You're like the quiet and unfeeling art guy. Can't break the illusion by being nice. Is that how I come across to you? I'm not the best judge. We never really talked. But it caught me off guard when you were arguing with my friend the other day. I wasn't trying to argue. I'm not that gung-ho. Seem gung-ho to me. I guess you forgot, but we have talked before. It was at our second year cultural festival. Wait a second. Is something nope, wrong? Nope, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Nonaka? Uh, huh? Uh, Haru? Hey, it's you two. <sighs> hey, man. just out drinking with a big group of our old friends from college, and, uh, now we're on our way back home. Oh, that sounds like a great time. I really hope she doesn't get the wrong idea. Good night, guys. Uh, come on, Minato. What is he doing with Haru? Whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Why didn't he ask what I was doing with Minato? Was it because he was with his dumb crush? Because he doesn't care one way or the other. Anyway, that pisses me off. I need to make a stop. Wasn't that Miss Morinome back there? What's the deal? Is she close with Wozumi? Yeah. They're like super tight from the good old college days. I was under the impression that he was going out with you. Whoa, do you go and teach aren't dating or anything like that? Huh. <sighs> uh, yeah, I never thought that I would end up being one of those desperate women who didn't know when to give up. Nothing you can do about it. The person who falls in love always loses. Yes! At least you feel me! You dating anyone? Or do you want to be? I had a pretty massive crush on a girl back in high school. We ran into each other recently, but she's already in love with someone else. Dang, sounds like we're in the same crappy boat. It feels a little better not being alone, though. Swing and a miss. Thanks for hanging out with me today. A real nice distraction, you know? Of course. I had a good time, and thanks for the drink. We're close to my place, so I can take it from here. I'll see ya! Yo! Can I have this photo? This one. Yeah, sure, I guess so. Awesome, thanks! I'll see ya! Next year, we spent a bit more time around each other because we were in the same class, but I never understood why she wanted such a lonely-looking photo. Well, I never thought I would see her again. All right, I have a quick meeting to attend. Hold down the fort for me. Have you two heard about the contest yet? I think you'd be remiss not to submit. I'll consider it, thanks.
Hey, so, are you going out with Miss Morinome? Is that what Haru's been telling people? No. Shinako and I aren't together. I see. And what about you and Nonaka? I'm very curious. What is she to you? Well, uh... I don't know. Just a friend, maybe? Jeez, but moving on from that. You got any big plans for this competition? Do you mean the one here? If so, I don't. I have no desire to compete in that. When I submit a piece, it will be at the right time and the right place. <laughs> what a tool! Hey ho, you headed home? Uh-huh. How'd you know? Wait, aren't you hungry? I just want to go home. For real? I've been sitting out here for years. You could at least walk me back to my place. Maybe you should ask that other guy. Seriously? Gonna act like you forgot his name? Guess you're still upset about the other night. No, I'm not. Doesn't bother me a bit. You can't just say that! You're a total jerk face! Your friend Minato has been in here almost every day. Got that right. He isn't a coffee lover. He drowns his poor mug in cream and sugar. What are you trying to insinuate here? I'm just not quite convinced he comes for the java. <sighs> Catching flies in there? Excited. <laughs> well, Mr. Two Jobs, you hard worker, what happened to you? Not a thing. How weird. That's not what Kinoshita says. He told me you've got your eye on something uber expensive. What? So could it be something that costs approximately three months' wages? Huh? You're gonna buy me an engagement ring, duh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babe, but I have to get to work. I bid you adieu. My ring size is seven, by the way. Sorry you've had to walk me home so much recently. Don't worry about it. I live this way too. Is this weird? It totally is, isn't it? No, I'm sure I'm just overthinking the whole thing. That crow always wants to be around you, doesn't he? Huh? Uh, yeah, I guess. I kept on feeding him and now he's attached. Speaking of animal friends, got any pets of your own? Well, my parents do. When I was a little kid, they adopted this gigantic mud of a dog. At first, I was incredibly alarmed that a dog could be almost twice my height and triple my size. But the more I fed him, walked him, and spent time with him, something clicked. I realized he wasn't so scary after all. So eventually he grew on you? Hmm. Guess some relationships take time, right? I mean, that's certainly a thing people say.
it's all right. I'd really like to spend the day with you tomorrow. I came here once before on a field trip in elementary school. We even went on a tour of that boat over there. We did the same thing. I remember begging my parents for the plastic model. Sounds about right. It's been a minute since I visited the ocean. It's too cold for swimming now, but nice to look at. I come here on occasion. Whenever I'm sad or something happens or I just need to contemplate life. I'll spend hours out here. Whoa, you only brought your instant camera? Your fancy one needed time off, huh? Well, for whatever reason, I was in the mood for this one today. It's more fun. That seemed right for this. Nothing but a sky full of seagulls this time of year. I have a question. What's up? I'm sure you've noticed I have a thing for you, but that didn't seem to scare you away. And yeah, I completely get you have this whole situation with Uozumi going on. He's an asshole. He doesn't care about me, or how the crap he does makes me feel. I think he truly believes that I'm fine with being his backup plan. become more than a second choice. It keeps me up at night. That said, knowing me, if I give up, I'm gonna regret it later. I've gotta stick to my guns, even if I don't win. I fell in love with this dude on accident, and now I'm stuck. I have to take this as far as possible, or I'll feel like I wasn't true to myself. So, no. Sorry. It's fine. I figured that'd be your answer. Like you were saying, now there isn't anything left for me to regret. Also, I quit college. It was fun for a while. I learned so much and found so many great opportunities. It just wasn't for me. Like something didn't feel right. I need to get closer to my art, to the photos that I actually want to be taking. I have to act now, or I could end up stuck for the rest of my life. So, like, what are you gonna do? To start, I'm gonna leave Japan. It's finally time I show my camera a bit more of the world. But before I could go, I just needed this chance to tell you something. I like you, Haru. I've liked you since high school. getting cold. We should probably head home, yeah? Thanks. I loved hanging out with you today. Is it okay if we part ways here? Sure. Cool. Goodbye then. Hey, not so fast. I'll see you. Someday. I'm here. Yo. Guess what? Minato quit his job here and fell off the face of the earth. That looks freaking awesome. I'm impressed. That chick is hot. Do I look like her? Uozumi, 
I hear you bought a new camera. Yeah, I did. Uh, it's fine, but it is secondhand. Be sure to take lots of pictures. Right. Curious. Now, let's see what you felt was worthy of submission. Oh, this is amazing! He looks way cooler than in real life. Decent for someone who didn't win. <laughs> I guess it's all about the model. Shut up. Long time no see. The crazy thing is, I've lived in this area for a while. Took me up until now to figure out you worked here, though. Sorry, but do I know you? Huh? Oh, well, guess it's what I get for dyeing my hair. <laughs> I'm your old buddy from high school, Chika Yuzuhara. <laughs> you remember now? All I remember about you is that I'd prefer not to. <laughs> You're funny. So, I'm in a bit of a bind. Haven't been keeping up with the old rent and got the boot. And since fate brought us together after all this time, can I stay with you? Just for tonight? Sorry it wasn't me. It's not your fault, you know, but you never really did understand me. Huh? So you actually know her? It's more like I know of her, really. She was a member of one of my buddy's bands, and I've seen her in the store a few times, too. Oh. She does music. Yeah, I think she even has a nickname. Ah, Great Destroyer. <sighs> Every band she joined ended up falling apart. She caused all sorts of relationship drama. As it happened more and more, the Great Destroyer was born. Hats up based on the girl I knew. She was a hard-working student and on all the committees. But it didn't take long for rumors about her to spread. By graduation, there was a support group for guys whose hearts she broke. No clue why, but she dumped me as well. It sucked. Mm, I don't know how you do it, man. First we've got your gorgeous crush, then there's Haru, and now your smoking ex enters the scene out of nowhere. I say go all in on lucky number three. Why is this so fun for you? Because it doesn't affect me. <sighs> she completely ditched me back in high school. And this morning, she did it again. Sorry. I hate to make you do this for me. A little late for that. I know your wiring better than I know my own. I've done this about half a million times now. <laughs> I did ask you to help with it every time I moved in college, huh? What happened to that kid that's been hanging around? Isn't this a job for him? Oh, do you mean, though? It wouldn't feel right asking a student to do grunt work. Makes sense. Well, in that case, anytime you need help with your cables, I'll be your guy. Great. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> it's already unlocked. Welcome home! Great timing. I just finished cooking up dinner. How did you get in here? 
the usual way. I grabbed the spare key you have hanging by the door before I headed out this morning. <sighs> Ta-da! Everything is made from scratch. Threw in whatever I found in the fridge. Oh, actually, I bought the stuff for the miso soup. You have good taste in veggies, so I went ahead and sautéed those. Your eggs were on the brink of expiration, so I used all of them. Hope you don't mind. Eggs with green onion, huh? You like it? Pretty good. So what's your deal? Like you plan on squatting here? I'm on my knees. Well, then you should get up! Just for a month. Mm, or three weeks. I found a gig, so I'll be out of your hair the second I get my first paycheck. What's the gig? I'm playing piano at a reception hall. Oh, yeah? You were always pretty good at piano. So, why come to me? To be transparent, I don't have a ton of female friends. And my other exes are dating new people. Hey, I could have a girlfriend for all you know. You don't. I can tell by the state of your room. <coughs> Please, help me out for a little while. Your poor ex-girlfriend is in dire need of a prince. You wouldn't dump a prince after only four months. I rely on him whenever it's convenient. Your being friends isn't fair to me. Am I being selfish? Miss Morinome? Uh, oh, hi. Going out for an adventure? You just walked right past the prep room. Oops. <laughs> you're fine. While you're here, I've been thinking about cracking open a fancy bottle of booze tonight if you'd like to join me. Uh-huh. An acquaintance of mine runs a studio, and apparently they're short-staffed. Would you like to give that kind of work a try? So, uh, are you firing me? Absolutely not. You've got it all wrong. If you want to become a professional photographer, a studio might be the best place for you to grow. He has a point. Working part-time at the convenience store and the gallery. Those things won't get me anywhere. But still... Welcome home! You in the mood for gyoza? Give me one second. I'll get this all cleaned up for you. <gasps> Go ahead. It's fine. I should turn off the stove first. This is getting weird. Are you okay? I think you must have a fever. I'm a little surprised. I didn't think you'd hold your liquor so well. Here, what about that dude from work you were Thank talking you, about? Thank you, but I probably had enough no already. Way. Oh, come on, just a little uh, more. Any men in your life, Morinome? Uh, no, not at all. I don't buy it. <laughs> well, I promise it's true. We won't let you leave till you tell us everything. <laughs> Fine, but stop refilling my glass, please. Let me take you to the hospital to be safe. I hate hospitals. <laughs> yeah, but it's not the building you don't like. It's all the needles, right? Yep, I remember now. I'm glad that's your takeaway from our relationship. <laughs> I made some kanji. Think you can eat? Yeah, thanks. I'm gonna have some with you. What's with the red stuff? You have a good eye, sir. Pickled plum for a salty touch. I never knew you were such a chef. You're surprisingly good. Yeah, well, I learned to cook when I started living on my own. Your parents were always strict, so I'm shocked they let you move out. Hmm. 
No, they didn't let me. I guess you could say I left by force. I doubt there's an adult alive who's willing to tolerate a 7 p.m. curfew. Your rebellious phase came late. Say what you will. Still, though, thanks to my uptight parents forcing me to play piano, I have a job right now. Funny how life works out. Wild guess. You want to be a photographer, yeah? It takes a lot more than wanting it. I have such a long way to go. I feel ya. I'm the new friend. Why would they all pick on me? A love so deep it transcends the grave. That's so pure. Well, not exactly. He wasn't my boyfriend. Ah. I guess you'd call him my childhood crush. Wait a second. Uh, so are you saying you're 20-something years old and you've never been in a relationship? Uh, uh, is that really so bad? Uh. Is that really uh. so bad? <laughs> Who cares? I'm still so young. I'll be more positive and it'll work out. That's weird. How'd I end up here? I wonder if Uozumi's working. Is that uh, you, Teach? Hi, Nonaka. Come by to see the ghoul? No, actually, I- Hurry uh, up, let's go get him! <laughs> hey! He's sick? Based on how he sounded over the phone, I don't think he'll be back by tomorrow. Relax, my man's a tough cookie. Don't be too concerned. Dang. I haven't seen him in forever. He doesn't always take the best care of himself. I hope he'll be okay. Hey, I've got an idea. <sighs> One cold and the big man's a baby. You're so eager to please everyone. But it's all right to put yourself first sometimes. <laughs> huh? Odd. Who would be coming by so late? <sighs> yes? Well, uh, so... Uwozumi is actually sick right now. We know. Who are you? <laughs> I'm just a freeloader. Okay. Understood. We came to check in on him, but it seems like you've got this. Come on, time to go. Uh, bye. I would have invited you guys in. Who was that? Don't know. I guess she's staying there. You might be able to act all cool, but I can't believe he would do this without even telling us! I mean, it's not like we're dating him or anything like that. Trust me, I know. You need to get more upset. This is pretty much the equivalent of him cheating on both of us! Uh, he wanted something more with me and I turned him down. I can't blame him for finding that with someone else. There's nothing we can do about it now. The heart works in mysterious ways. Jeez, Teach. They were here? Both of them? Yeah, but they left once they knew you were okay. I'm really impressed you were able to find such adorable lady friends. Anyway, I'm off. See ya! Dude, you're still letting her crash with you? Uh, what the hell else am I supposed to do? Is the punk still out? Yeah, well, apparently he's all better, but I guess he needed to take the day off to recover. <laughs> I can give him a message, though. Well, well, what do we have here? Is there anything you wanted to tell me, Rikuo? Please, don't kill me. She's your ex, huh? 
Whatever we had is long gone. That doesn't mean I like it. Just kick her out already! Well, it's a little too late for that now. Look at you, you're already attached to her! Believe me, I'm so not. Just stop. Why does it even matter to you? so I figured I'd wait here. It's nice to see you. You feeling any better? Uh, yeah, I am. I heard you dropped by my place last night, so I... Uh... You must have heard wrong. I was drinking with some teacher friends last night and headed straight home after we were done. Uh, are you sure? Shinako, wait! Do you still feel sick? I don't. I'm fine. I brought all this on myself. Not to brag, but I bought this mackerel hole and filleted it without any help. Separating the meat from the bone is tricky stuff. <sighs> if you ask me, food tastes a million times better when you eat it with someone else, don't you think? I guess. Our situation's weird, though. Think about it for a sec. We never did anything like this back when we were actually dating. Yeah, you're right about that. It was years ago. Hmm? But you said you dumped me because I didn't understand you. Remember? You told me, and it completely caught me off guard. But looking back at it, I get the feeling that you might have been right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I have no secret wish to be understood by you. And that's not what I was worried about at the time. I just came up with an excuse because I found a new guy. <sighs> Why are you such a mess when it comes to relationships? My rebellious face? <laughs> just kidding. It's simple. In the end... The only thing I really care about is being liked. If a guy tells me he likes me, I can't say no. That's how I am. Maybe my brain chemistry is screwy, but I've never been the type to fall in love or get too deeply invested in anything at all, for that matter. You can say that, but you were great at school. You did piano and tons of clubs. <sighs> Jack of all trades, master of none. Why am I so angry? It's you again. If you want to talk to Awozumi, you should come in and wait for him to get back. No, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, Hang on a second. Me? I think we should talk. Please, come inside. So as I said before, all I am to him is a freeloader. Let me assure you, there's like absolutely nothing going on between the two of us. Sorry. I didn't think you'd have someone like you, you know? There's no need to be sorry. We're just buddies from college. I'm not his girlfriend or anything like that. Right. So you must be his crush then. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure what I should say. Huh. Uh, you don't mind if I smoke. Uh, go ahead. He's a nice...
nice guy. That's the only reason why I'm here. He's been like that forever. And it was no coincidence I bumped into him the other day. A friend from high school told me where he worked, and I thought it wouldn't hurt to swing by. I was almost positive he would help me out if I asked him to. And he did. You see? Not too deep. I don't want anything good to get messed up for him because of me. Cut the sighing. It's seriously getting on my nerves, man. So what's your deal? Come on, like you don't already know. <sighs> You're lucky. If she's angry, that means she cares. You've got it good, buddy. So save some oxygen for the rest of us. Hey, Chica. Chica? Where'd she run off to? Hi, it was me. I know this is sudden, but I've been formally employed as a pianist. They're giving me an advance on my pay, too. So I'm out. Even though I was only there for a bit, thank you. P.S. I know I said I'm not the type to fall in love, but I do love the piano. Stay well, and take care of yourself. I know what I want. Okay, so can I get the deluxe mix okonomiyaki with the cheese and pork topping, but make it double pork and one of those extra yummy butter sauteed giant scallops on the side? Also thick cut smoked bacon, some soy sauce buttered mushrooms, the crunchy sardine mustard green salad, and an oolong tea. Oh, and the fried apple with ice cream for dessert, please. <laughs> and you? <sighs> Go on. Right. I'll do the pork and egg. Great. I got dolled up and came all the way over here because somebody just insisted on treating me to dinner. But what's your game? For real? I didn't insist on... Uh -huh. <sighs> Who cares? I won't be working at the gallery starting next week. Got fired? No. The director was able to hook me up with a job at a legitimate photography studio. I've never actually studied the art before. I have no real idea if it's meant for me. Who knows? I guess I'll try. Waitress! Can we get two beers with that? Hey, what are you doing? Don't worry, Mr. Successful. The drinks are on me tonight. Doesn't mean you're not underage, you know! till exams. I've been giving it some thought and it's high time we reevaluate our attitudes. Reevaluate our attitudes? Too much talk like that and you're destined to psych yourself out. You don't want to ride that anxiety train too far. I feel like I'm getting too comfortable with the way my life is right now. What's so bad about being comfortable? Either way, panicking won't help you. Yeah, well, maybe I like freaking out over my ever waning odds of becoming something. Like it makes me feel more alive, you know. <laughs> I don't know, but something about all that does kind of suit you, newbie. <sighs> Shinako! Uh, I've told you multiple times not to address me so casually at school. Yeah, yeah, we've still got a few hours of daylight left. Let's go out somewhere. 
Don't you have cram school right now? You shouldn't skip. True, but that's not half as important as a teacher-student field trip. We could check out a movie, or do some shopping, or whatever you want. <sighs> well, you'll have to wait. I still have some work to finish. Yeah, do that tomorrow. Trust me, I can't. I need to get today's work done. Otherwise, I'll be swamped. I see. You don't want to go with me. You should know by now that isn't true. Did something happen? Not really. Take it easy for me. You tend to push yourself way too hard. Like when you slept two hours a night during high school entrance exams. Yeah, you're right. Try to let yourself relax more. You're doing plenty just by being the way you are. What do you mean the way I am? <gasps> what the hell do you think I am? Oh, you... I worked my ass off to get into the high school you went to. Then you start teaching here and I do the same thing. What do you think all that was for? I'm just... I'm trying to catch up to you. I... I need to find a path and stick to it. Then at least I'll have a chance of becoming something. If I could do that, then maybe you'd stop treating me like a snot-nosed little kid. You don't understand the power of the things you say or do. The way I am. You don't expect me to become anything more? Hey, hey. There's someone here to see you, man. The fox has returned. It's getting pretty late. Are you on your way home from the kids' place? No. I worked late at the school today and then went shopping for a couple things. I haven't really been over to Rose much at all lately. We got into a fight. Oh yeah? You're not really the fighting type. Maybe fight's not the best term. I made him mad. I'm afraid it won't be so easy to fix things this time. I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You've known each other for so long, you're essentially siblings, and siblings fight. That's also the reason why it's tough. I want things to be the way they've always been. Those stuck falling for some incredible illusion. I'm sure he'll snap out of it soon enough. But I can't figure out how to keep the right distance. It sounds like you're being overprotective. The kid wants to stress out, so let him. That's the best you can do. If he's managed to make it this far in life, he knows you don't always get what you want. On that note, he's not as much of a kid as you take him for. He's fine, so don't get worked up about the fight, trust me. from Kanazawa. I figured you could use a taste of home. Oh, you figured right. Thank you. I'm back. Oh? Good to see you. Uh, oh. Well then, it's getting close to my bedtime. What are you just standing around for, son? I bet you haven't eaten yet. I'll warm up some of the stew we had. There's also miso yokan in the fridge. Have some later. Thanks. Sorry about what happened. I'm sorry too. I should have thought through things more. It honestly wasn't your fault at all. I was feeling impatient and... This is nice. This image of you in my kitchen. I've watched you so closely since I was a kid. I don't want things to change. I want this image to last forever. I always thought as I got older we would get closer, but now... I'm scared we might just be growing further apart. I've watched you too. 
and I'll watch you for as long as it takes to find out who you'll become. Could you make me a rolled omelet, please? <laughs> we have fried eggplant, too. <sighs> I don't know. I think she's just being nice. Yeah, I have to agree there. And why is that? You've been close since childhood. Like, what else was she supposed to say to you if she wants to keep the family-friend relationship going? That was her only option. So, what? Are you trying to tell me I got rejected here? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Damn. The magician is back. Huh? Hey! Crap! Crap, crap! Crap. <laughs> So how are things with Shinako lately? <coughs> what do you want from me? There's nothing to update you on. I'm trapped. I already got rejected by her once. If she's changed her mind, it's on her to make a move this time. I guess you could say that I've been friend-zoned. Uh, Shinako is a good-looking girl, but it seems like she doesn't know the first thing about dating. Waiting around for someone so inexperienced isn't the brightest idea. You're gonna have to stop acting so weird about her. <sighs> that aside, I hear life's going pretty well for you right now. How's the studio? There's a lot for me to learn. It's definitely fun. But to be honest, the workload's pretty brutal. Then quit the convenience store. You should focus on this. <sighs> Maybe. If you got your job situation worked out, you might feel good enough to finally make your move. Relax with the psychoanalysis, will you? Look, you know what you need to do, so do it. <sighs> oh. I better go before I miss the last train. Oh, I want you to photograph my wedding. Did I mention that I'm getting married? <laughs> Guess I can fill you in on all the details next time. Night. Oh, hey, Tanabe. Why don't we go grab some lunch when you're done with that? Okay. A camera? Yeah. I kind of got roped into being my friend's wedding photographer. I was hoping you could lend me one for the day. You know, if I were you, I would make a call to Mizuguchi. He's got some nice gear and is pretty open to that kind of thing. I appreciate the advice. So what's your deal, then? Is photography just a hobby for you? If you're serious about it, you'll need to get your hands on a proper camera. Yeah, I've thought about biting the bullet and getting one, but I don't have any formal training. I was planning on racking up some experience at the studio for a bit longer. A bit longer? How long is that? <laughs> this is just my opinion. But nobody is born a talented photographer. You have to start doing it, and the talent will come. Eventually. There's no need to wait to take action. You decide when you're ready. And see you tomorrow. Hey, yo. Is something wrong? Just look at you. You're all gloomy. Come on, you've known me for this long. When am I ever not gloomy? If there's something on your mind, you should tell me. The all-knowing Haru shall grant you wisdom. There's no point in telling you about it. It's all just boring work stuff. Fine, then. You're not at the convenience store much. Well, the studio has been keeping me real busy. I like the work I'm doing there. I need to stay focused and keep breaks to a minimum. <laughs> uh, please don't judge me. But it feels like life itself is on my case. It's asking what I want to be, you know? Is that what's been on your mind? Yeah. Not that it does me any good to perpetually stress out about it. No, keep uh, stressing out. Those are the feelings that help us become who we are. <laughs> it's big for me. Jeez.
I imagine you're the type that could find joy in any occupation, aren't you? That's right. Yeah. <sighs> Can't get this girl down. Trust me, I know. Paparazzi. My bad. Could you give me a few copies of those once they're developed? Yeah, absolutely. Today was fun. Fukuda seems super nervous. That doofus just got promoted to being the head of a family. It's a little hard to wrap your head around. Weird, right? For sure. Hey, Shinako. What's up? to the studio. I borrowed this camera from my senior at work and I need to return it to him. Okay. See you. Bye. This is lovely, but wasn't it a wedding favor? Sure you want me to have it? It'll be much more useful here than at my place. It's a well-made plate. You might want to hold on to it for whenever you get married. <sighs> Slow down. I don't have any plans to do that. I'm home. Uh, what do you not have plans to do? You don't need to worry about that. Trust me, it's nothing. Wow, you've gotten taller. Yeah? Yes. Don't you think so? Now that you mention it, I do. No wonder my joints have been hurting lately. I might be tall, but I'm pretty pale. Because I'm locked up inside all the time. I think I'm gonna head home. Oh, let me walk you. No, it's fine. It's really not that late yet. Are you just being polite? Uh, nope, I'm good. Promise. Wait a sec. system.
was supposed to do. Feel any better? A little bit. I'm sorry. No one I fought. That again? You know, maybe we can't be childhood friends forever. It's not working out. So, I'm no relationship expert, but childhood friends seems like a weird one, or at least weird to maintain. It's hard, but I think you should steer clear of him for a little while. Just tell the kid you're busy. That would be for the best. I know they're like family to you, so you don't want things to get awkward, which is totally understandable. But you should try your best to- Come on. You up. This isn't what you came here for. Yeah, thank you. That's not the thing I don't know how to deal with. Well, have a good night. Uh, uh, when we talked before, I wasn't thinking things through. Meaning what? I never considered anybody's feelings but my own. How I could hurt someone. What are you talking about? You're one of the most considerate people I know. I'm not. I ran away. The person I was in love with died, and I reduced him down to an excuse. I found ways to rationalize it all, so I never had to come up with any answers. I thought I worked through it, but no matter how hard I try, I can't go a day without him flooding my brain. I told myself I could move on, but I never actually tried. If I don't get past this, I'm terrified that I'll end up alone. It makes me feel weak. I need to work on it. It sounds like you need some time to deal with this stuff. Please remember, I said I'd wait. selfish to say, especially after I rejected you, but I wish you were pushy the way it always. If I'm going to move on, I think I'll need a pretty decent push. Having someone there to catch me would be nice. Good evening. Uh, good evening. My next door neighbor. Jeez, it might look weird for us to stand here all night talking. Let's find a place to sit. Want to come inside? <laughs> it's kind of messy, though. <laughs>
want to come inside? It's kind of messy, though. Sorry. Honestly, I... Sorry. Oh, it's okay. I understand. You, uh, seem a little off tonight anyway. It's best to get a good night's sleep. Uh... I'm gonna head on home, so I'll see ya. What's up with me? We were talking, I started feeling so confused. People are so confusing. But it sounds like you whiffed your big shot. I mean, that was like a once in a lifetime thing, you know? I, I can't, can't believe, believe you. you. Uh Nothing ended up happening. I... I don't know how I'm gonna be able to look him in the eye again. Let him on pretty strongly, didn't you? What would you have done if you were in my position? Well, I wouldn't overthink it if it were me. Just go out with him already. Uh, that's a pretty big jump there! It's what you should do. Come on now. The whole reason you can tell him about what's going on in your life is that you trust him, right? You asked him to come in, because you do actually like the poor guy, isn't that true? Well, I mean, I think he's a great guy and all that stuff. You can't commit because you're comparing him to your boyfriend who passed away. Uh, be careful holding this up to a relationship you had back in your teens. It's just not going to have the same impact. Besides, you've probably romanticized it. You know, memory kind of works that way. That's true. That's why I'm trying not to commit to anything right now. I'm trying. I'm growing up as fast as I can. I'll be there in Yu's place. shot. No way, man! That's it, sorry. You'll never get that heat of the moment thing back. You wonder why you can't get anywhere, but it's because you don't make a move when a girl gives you an opening. <laughs> What's up, guys? Just talking about my man's relationship woes. He's had a crush on the same girl since our college days, if you can believe that. Whoa, that's one major crush. Dude! It's so sweet. Personally, I'd be flattered. By the way, my family loved the wedding photos. Like seriously, they've been going on and on about them. You've perfectly captured the joy on our faces. Probably because we're actually friends. <sighs> so glad to hear it. My man, one of the best buddies a guy could ever ask for. <laughs> You're hammered, but thanks. Can you hush for like one second, Taka? Yes, dear. Oh, speaking of photos, there were a few mixed into the batch that seemed more like... Yours than ours. I 
I'm guessing this would be your crush, huh? Well, she, uh... I think she's gorgeous. Obviously too good for my pal here. I don't have to take this crap from you! <laughs> Best of luck, old buddy. Remember, don't choke under pressure. It's now or never. Do or die. We're rooting for you, Rikuo. <laughs> Doesn't do me much good, but okay. Cause as for my next move, I'm stuck. But I wish you were pushy the way it always. Want to come inside? I should be happy. And feeling alive and all that right now. Something that was so far away before was within my reach, even for just a moment. So... Why do I feel so weird about everything? Like a big part of me was relieved when she changed her mind. But why? If you got your job situation worked out, you might feel good enough to finally make your move. I don't know, maybe he's right. Just bring in some bagel goodness for you to try. They've been a huge hit at the milk hall. I didn't want you to miss out on them. Uh, thank you. Wanna eat them with me? Huh? Uh, like where? I was thinking... Your place, duh! Are you kidding? Uh, lame. I've been waiting here forever. That's not my fault, and you shouldn't be out this late anyway. It's too dangerous. For real? So now you worry about me. Where do you think you're going? I was gonna walk you home. So let's get moving, okay? What do you know? There is a nice guy under all that frosty exterior. You really want to give me grief right now? <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Sweet full-time gig. I appreciate that, man. Still, though, didn't expect you to quit the store the same day. Had to do it. You hanging out with Haru at all lately? Mm. No, uh, these days, I'm just trying to focus on work. So tell me, any new developments? On what exactly? 
Anything happen with the guy you were leading on? Mm -hmm. No, nothing's happened, I swear. Honestly, I haven't even seen him at all since that night. So, are you testing him, or what? Well, I'm not trying to. The whole thing's so awkward. It's not like he's trying to get a hold of me, either. And... And what? Make sure you're not setting yourself up for regrets. never around anymore. Really? Huh. Maybe he just quit working here. Seems like a real possibility. Hmm? You haven't seen him or anything? Me? It's, uh, been a little while since we've talked. <sighs> yeah, for me too. He seems too busy these days. Well, I guess I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, well, it's definitely in character. Like you know, Rico. It takes him forever to make any kind of decision, and then he just does what he wants without asking anyone how they feel about it. That's true. I wonder if he'll be able to get by with only the photo studio gig. Maybe he just figured out that'll be enough. Later, Teach. Have a good night. Uh, yeah. Be careful, okay? Hey, Shinako. What's up? Uh, I know something was on his mind. Is that what he wanted to talk about? He was about to tell me. If I never saw him again, I would definitely regret it. He's not home yet. Is she not home? Uh, what you doing? Nothing. Nothing in particular. I was just in the neighborhood, and I... earlier. You weren't there, so I wondered if you had quit. Yeah, I did. Sorry. Should have told you. It's okay. Are you going to focus on your part-time gig at the studio? Well, you see, that technically isn't the case anymore. Recently, they brought me on full-time. <sighs> That's great news! When they offered me the job, my confidence was close to zero. But everybody assured me that I'd get a handle on it eventually. Being up there made me realize something. Just that I... like cameras. Working with them, and tinkering with them too. This is huge! <laughs> Once you make up your mind... You know exactly what you want, no matter what anyone else thinks. Uh, uh, you know. I do? Oh, gosh. <laughs> what am I doing? Sorry it's late. Thank you for walking me home. No problem. Well, 
Good night, then. Good night. Fukudo was right. I won't get another chance. That speech. All that stuff about making up his mind was just what Nonaka told me. As of now, I'm upgrading the contest to an all-out war. I really like you, Teach, so I didn't want to act sneaky. She really likes him. Now you know? I know that much is true. But how he feels about her, that's the part I'm not so sure of. I can cross cleaning the house off of my list. Uh, but I gotta straighten the bed. <sighs> now I just need to go shopping. I haven't been over to Rose place in a while. I mean, it's not like I can keep running away from him forever. I'm sorry I have to run to this meeting. I feel awful you made all this food. Don't worry about that. I'll make you a plate and put it in the fridge. It'll be there waiting when you get home. Well, thank you. Rao's been out working on his art at all hours recently, so don't wait around for it. You should head home before it gets late. I will. I'm off. See you. Have a nice time. Part of me feels relieved. How terrible. Have a good night. You too. Oh, and that delivery gets here tomorrow afternoon. I'm sure I'll need your help with it. Great. Bye. What a long day. And with that magazine shoot this week, it's not gonna get any easier. Hey, yo! Haru? What the heck are you doing out here? Waiting for you, silly. For real? Well, I've already eaten dinner. I don't care. I'll just walk with you then. You shouldn't have waited so long. Too late now. Besides, I'm not gonna leave without you apologizing for secretly quitting the convenience store. Hey, do you think you could walk me home? Drink up. <laughs> Aw, thanks. Money bags. Shut up. So, did you hear Kinoshita and his band are on a big tour around Japan? That's so cool! They'll do a show in Tokyo, right? Yeah, but I need to find out when. Why didn't you tell me that you quit working at this store? It's not like I was keeping it a big secret. I just hadn't gotten an opportunity. Interesting. So have you been avoiding me? No, not at all. Likely story. That said, I'm proud. You're doing great. Thank you. I'm always rooting for you. If you ever need a coffee or just want to talk, you should come see me. Let me know if there's anything. Something wrong? Haru, listen. I don't want you to feel like you need to go out of your way to come see me. It's just, I'm going to be working pretty late some nights. 
It's dark, and, uh, it wouldn't be safe. But I like waiting for you. Plus, I don't see you very much anymore. A little wait is worth it for me. I'm not doing this for you, you know. That weird? I should have kept it to myself. This stuff always gets gloomy, huh? Next time, I'll be more careful. My place is really close, so good night. Dad had to step out for a late meeting. Want some dinner? Uh, yeah, guess so. That was a lot. You know me. I've always been like this. I never keep things quiet. Even when I know I should. And then you get stuck dancing around my feelings. All because I can't shut up. Oh, please. I guess I'm trying to say... Thanks for making me food. The fact that you'd be willing to do that after how awkward I've made things says a lot. But please know, if you don't want to, you don't have to. I can't deny that things have felt pretty awkward recently. That said, I've always loved coming over and cooking for you. You told me something that stuck with me. You said you want this image of me in the kitchen, cooking for your family, to last forever. Well, I want that too. I've spent my entire life loving you and your dad. You've become my family. I need you, and I can't imagine losing you. Get real. <laughs> There's no way that would happen. The old man and I will always be here for you. always gets gloomy, huh? So many experts thought you topped out a long time ago, you defied the odds and managed to make yourself come off as even needier. <sighs> Nikuo quitting the convenience store was the nail in the frickin' coffin. I don't have an excuse of meeting him there on my way home from work anymore. The studio is three train stations away from here. Making that trek all the time might look weird. Especially if he rejects me for real. 
can see that much. Huh? It seems like you've been a little down recently. Uh, seriously, have I? Are things not going too well with that boy of yours? I'm getting the impression he might be avoiding me. I'm sure he's just busy with work. Well, yeah, that's part of it. But things are all weird and different now. Sounds like you're overthinking it. Jeez, I hope so. Hello, and welcome! I'll go get changed. Check it! And it was made with love by Shinako! <laughs> Hold up, did she make you one too? Yeah, no, my mom did. Even though she knows I'm fully capable of making my own. But people want to be nice. They always do when exam season rolls back around. Mm. That's probably why you scored the gourmet bento. Gee, thanks. Way to rain on my parade. Sorry. Hey, are you going to the Christmas event? The teachers seem pretty excited about it. Mm. Nah, I'm busy that day. Mm. <laughs> Christmas, huh? Aren't you way too busy to celebrate this year? Yeah, but a change of pace would be good for me. Let's do it up like we used to. We can exchange presents and everything. Just a brief reminder not to mistake exam season kindness for something more. <sighs> what should I make for dinner tonight? to consider tomorrow's lunches, too. It feels like I stepped into a time machine. When I was younger, I would cook for the Hayakawas almost every day. pretty lucky to have you as a friend. If you weren't around to convince me to quit, I bet I'd still be working at the old convenience store. So thank you. <laughs> Glad to do my part. Dude, did you realize that it's almost Christmas? We have some stuff to figure out. Uh, and what stuff is that? In the past, whenever Christmas rolled around, I've always bought something for my lady friend. But Kozue and I decided to hold off on gift giving this year to save money. So? We can't just let it pass us by. I refuse to just sit here while the rest of the world has a blast. So to make it special, we thought we might throw our own little Christmas party. Hmm? Was that my invite? You made it hard to tell. I mean, you don't have any plans, do you? Of course I don't. Feel free to bring Shinako. The wife suggested it. And if you have any pictures from college on hand, bring those too. Kozue's been dying to see them. Oh, but please make sure to leave out any that feature my ex. <laughs> I'm still not sure why they always put me in charge of photographing events. It's clear taking pictures of people wasn't my specialty. Who cares, though? If it meant taking pictures of cute girls, I was always on board.
This is from our first year. Our class went on a trip to Akikawa. After we became friends, it made me feel weird to take photos of her like that. So I stopped. I don't remember how we started hanging out, but the closer we got, the harder it became to tell her I liked her. I tried to confess on graduation day, but I couldn't. All that stress for her to flat out reject me down the line. Even back then, I would rather have her as a friend than not have her at all. Next time, I'll be more careful. Thanks for your hard work. Hey, Kyoko, be honest. Is it messed up to stay friends with somebody if you have feelings for them? Hmm. Might this be about you-know-who? I just want to know if it's wrong in general. I can't say. Everybody's different, so it's hard to answer your question generally. But, for me... I don't see it as some massive crime. There are so many reasons that our hearts latch on to people. One being they're nice to be around. It makes sense you still want them in your life. It's all okay. But like, what if spending time with them is just hurting you? If that's the case, you should evaluate the situation, and if there are more cons than pros, I would seriously consider maintaining a healthy distance from this person. How do you weigh pros and cons? Maybe those terms are too objective for something like this. It's about your feelings, so you have to decide what you need. Which is exactly why it's different for everyone. I hope that I could help you think this through. Thank you for the coffee. Coming. Uh, uh, hey, Shinako. Good evening. I'm sorry for coming by so late. Uh, don't be. What's up? I made dinner for the Hayakawas tonight. There was a lot left over, and I thought you might want some. Do you? Uh, yes, thanks. You're a lifesaver. Uh, oh, I was just sitting here sorting through some old photos that I took back in college. You want to see? Uh, uh, funny. So, they're not for me. Fukuda's wife just wanted to see him back in the day. So, yeah, that's it. I'm supposed to bring this stuff to their Christmas party. <laughs> uh, what a coincidence. I was thinking about those days, and then just like magic, those photos appeared. <laughs> Do you remember these? Kinko nuts? I guess. Ugh, you forgot, didn't you? During our first year, you completely ran out of money at some point, and I helped you scour the whole campus for nuts so you didn't starve to death. Oh, wait. Yeah. You really don't remember any of that? Uh, well, uh, you're invited to Fukuda's Christmas party too, so do you want to come with? Might be fun. I appreciate it, but... You have plans, right? It's okay. Not exactly. Bo's busy with exam prep, so I've been cooking for him. I'd hate to leave him hanging. Oh, okay. Exam prep, huh? And he's essentially my family at this point. I have to help him succeed. <sighs> Understood. I'll be sure to let Fukuda know. I'm sorry. Nikuo's still not home yet? It's getting harder for me to tell if I'm a spineless coward or if I'm just plain stupid. When I waged the war against Teach, I didn't know how bad I was already losing.
Thanks for walking me home. Be careful not to eat too many of the ginkgo nuts at once, okay? I will. Thanks for the great dinner. See ya. Have a good night. Thanks. Same to you. I spent all my money on a new camera lens. I haven't had a real meal in taste. There's no way ginkgo nuts are going to fill you up. Plus, you'll get sick if you eat too many. Yeah. If you're really that hungry, let me buy you something. I can afford either a croquette lunch or cafeteria food. For real? You're the best, Morita! <laughs> it's Morinome. <laughs> So she was here. That's great. Hey, Rosamy. Yes, sir? Do you happen to have a girlfriend? Huh? No, I don't right now. Eh, doesn't matter. Here. Huh? What's this? A gift for a lady. Unfortunately, looks like I won't be needing it anymore. But maybe you're luckier than me. Huh? 5,000 yen. Uh. Here, for Kozue. What's in there? No clue. My co-worker just got dumped and gave it to me. Well, he made me pay. Sounds like bad luck to me. It's totally unused. You'll be fine. Then you should give it to Shinako. Nah, seems like an unnecessary risk. But it's necessary for me? Hey, I wouldn't mind living on the edge of it. <sighs> wow, this necklace is so adorable. Awesome, thank you. Do you remember all the presents I made for you when we were kids? <laughs> How could I ever forget? We didn't have money, so everything was handmade. Your brother made that kaleidoscope for me one year, and you worked so hard on that beautiful portrait you did of me. I've held on to those presents for years now. I've held on to mine, too. I still have that mystery creature you made for me out of felt. <laughs> oh, jeez, how embarrassing. Like you two, I don't have an artistic bone in my body. That tradition passed too. We haven't done it since. No, we haven't. <laughs> you know, I could draw your portrait again. Huh?
you can stay where you are. Just pull your chair back. Now, look straight ahead, take a deep breath, and try to act natural. Dad is back in Karazawa for a while, isn't he? <laughs> Try loosening your collar a bit, yeah? That'll sexy it up. Uh, if you're going to be like that, then I'll go home. You've got it all wrong. I was just trying to be funny because you were looking so tense. <sighs> I should still leave. You have cram school work, no? Let's call it a night. Bye. I hope you sleep well. Sleep well? It's only 8 o'clock! That was my bad. I can't believe I forgot his dad was out of town. Still only eight. Plenty of time. I could relax and rent a movie, I guess. This is from our first year when we went down to the river. <laughs> Babies! It's good. I'll get it. Looking at these pictures, I can tell Shinako's always been pretty, hasn't she? It seems like, for the most part, my husband evaded the camera. Hey, how's it going with Shinako? Any good updates? Well, I, uh, I don't really know how it's going. Oh, that's fair. Things get complicated when you're friends first. Yeah, you got it. We'll be right here. Who was it? Oh, no one. In fact, you can take mine. Do you mind helping me grab a chair, honey? You could come. Are things with the kid okay? I'm not so sure. Uh, didn't you take this photo our first year? That takes me back. I asked him to bring some pictures from college, but it's more like he brought a Shinako photo album. Pretty sure I didn't realize all these were being taken. At least, you always look like you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, it's time for a Christmas toast. Of coffee. Hey, you owes me. Mind lending me a hand? It's not great. Yeah, no problem. This one feels lucky. Crap. Here, lucky take it. Uh, I just wrapped up the necklace again. I think it would be the perfect hey, gift to give Shinako to let her know how you feel about her. Thanks, but I. Uh... It's not like you caught her something else. <laughs> it's a gift from me to you. 
Consider any bad luck cancelled out now. Still, I wouldn't mention any of that stuff to her. You've got this. Thank you for having me. <laughs> sure, and before you go, happy early new year. Thank, Thank you. you. You can open this at home. Here, a little gift. Uh, I can uh, accept that. Just go for it, man. What's the worst that can happen? Don't worry about it. Plus, I can mop up your tears. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope that we didn't keep you up too late. No, not at all. We both so enjoyed hanging out with you. Come by again sometime. I will. And the deliveries are delivered. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kuma. Bye. Huh? You leave when I show up? Sorry. I'll be back. Lost in thought for a moment there. Oh, yeah, about Kuma. He seemed a little weird, to be honest. His family is going through a tough time right now. He's going home to Kyushu to be with them. <gasps> Does that mean he won't be coming around here anymore? I'm not sure. What's worse is he just got into grad school, but doesn't think he can go. That blows. Agreed. But it is what it is. It's all part of growing up. You have to realize your priorities. I'm glad he can do that. She's got to be way more upset than she's letting on. I wonder if it's going to snow before the year is over. Hard to say, but I bet we can expect it sometime around February. Well, I'll be looking forward to that, but not so much the cold that comes with it. If you ask me, I'd take the cold over the heat any day. I can't believe it's already almost January. These last weeks, they're my favorite part of the year, I think. Yeah? Why? Because I can always feel a change coming. Different parts of our lives finally get a chance to reset. And New Year's Eve is so much better than New Year's Day. The calendar shifts and the excitement is gone. <laughs> Growing up, we would always clean and fix up the house around this time. I'm not a fan of the end of the year. Oh, what a shame. Thank you for walking me home. Of course. See you soon. For sure. Wait up! Don't go yet! Uh, what? Well, uh, hold out your hands. For you. That's so kind. Sorry, but I didn't get anything for you. It's fine. I didn't expect you to. I don't know your exact tastes, so you might not like it. <laughs> what do you say we find out? Sure. <gasps> How cute! It's a moonstone, right? Thank you, I really like it. Uh, I'm glad. You went shopping and picked this out yourself? Sorry. Hmm? In all honesty, 
My coworker sold it to me after he got dumped. That, uh, sounds less special. <laughs> uh. Special or not, that sounds way more like you. I can't even imagine you looking around a store that would sell anything like this. What's more, that explains why you were being so weird when you gave it to me, you goofball. <laughs> but thanks, I'll be sure to wear it soon. Well, that was uncomfortable. You know, I think you might be the first girl I've ever given a present to. In fact, I'm sure of it. Good night. See you next year, then. Oh, hey, Ozumi. I've decided to call off my trip back home to Kanazawa. So, um... Maybe... We could do New Year's together? The night I confessed and got rejected, I ate dirt on my bike. If I remember right, that happened here. If life doesn't slow down, I'll eat dirt again. Christmas. What? what are you doing here? You know, just being the Santa Claus of bagels. How long have you waited? Come on, get up. You'll catch a cold if you sit there. It won't be fun. Feel real. I've been missing you for so long now. <clears throat> okay, you've had enough. Might as well come inside. I can give you something to warm you up. <gasps> Yay! This is it, eh? Yeah, I know it's messy. Just find a spot where you can get warm. <gasps> a fossil from the dinosaur days! A fossil I use all the time, so don't touch it. <laughs> you do? Weirdo. Stay put and don't break stuff. Thanks a lot. Listen, you've got to stop. It's gone too far. You think I don't know? This is just the only way I can see you. I want you in my life. I have to make the effort. That might be clingy, but it sure beats waiting around for a chance encounter, and I've told you I don't mind. You shouldn't worry about me. I do it because I like you. Cut me some slack. Today was perfect, you know. I got to see you and your cool room. I'll go home once I finish this.
I'm going to stay here for New Year's. What? No, I'll be back soon, just a little later than I thought. Yeah. Give him a hug for me. Looks good. I think that should do it. told my parents I wasn't coming home this year, but Uozumi hasn't contacted me whatsoever. Maybe I should go back after all. I messed up. Why did I think this was a good idea? When he told me he had never given a gift to a girl, that made me feel special. I don't regret asking him, but now I'm stuck. Please, it's not like I meant anything by it. Wouldn't surprise me if he could pick up on that and decided not to call. Is that why? Uh Hi, this is Shinako. Me? There you are. I called earlier, but I guess you weren't at home then. You had me worried. Figured you left for Kanazawa. <sighs> huh? What's wrong? Nothing. You just had me worried, too. <laughs> Sorry for not calling sooner. I was trying to wrap things up before the year ends. And by the way, it's not like you called me, either. Guess you have a point there. Yeah, so, uh, what should we do? Huh. What should we do? Wow, I never get them to look so clean. Well, I do this every day at work, so I'm pretty much a pro. Now that that's done, I'll mop the floor for you guys. It looks a little dusty if you ask me. <sighs> Let's go. Hmm? Go where? To buy ingredients for dinner. Does soba sound good? <laughs> do you come to this place often? Yeah, with my work buddies. They're big fans of the bar here. I heard that they'll be open all night for the holiday, so we should be able to take our time. Oh yeah? Uh, guess it struck midnight. <laughs> Happy New Year. Getting chilly. Feels good to me. I haven't had that much to drink in quite a while. Same here. It's funny, even when we were in college, you and I never really got to drink together. Come to think of it, you're right. It's kind of weird since we've eaten together like a million times. You hold your liquor pretty well, don't you? <laughs> really? You think so? Do you want some coffee to help sober you up? Yeah, that's a good idea. I bet there's a vending machine somewhere. Not, not here. Huh? At my place. Someone gave me these if you need a snack. Oh, thanks. I'm good with coffee. I was here to set up the TV, and it's, uh, it's cleaner now. 
Uh, thanks. That's a very recent improvement. Because it's usually messier than this. said you didn't share some responsibility. Are you just too nice of a person to be more assertive? Is that why you can't take charge? Or is it because of Nonaka? I thought, if I couldn't love someone the same way I loved him so many years ago, that I wouldn't be able to love them at all. there's more than one way to feel love. Maybe I was just feeling at peace. So now, I might be slow, but I'm ready to move on. I better get back to my place. I'd hate to intrude on your newlywed love fest for too long. Slow, huh? Fine by me. So, uh, I should go. All right. Mm-hmm. 
but no. She says she didn't see their face. There were no damages. Understood. Well, call us if you notice anything out of the ordinary. Are you okay? I think so. According to them, there's been a rise in break-ins. The police said they'll be back to dig around some more once the sun comes up. For now, all you can do is lock your doors and, uh... Does your family live anywhere close to here? Deep down in there, I know you're a kind person. Huh? And by that, I mean you're not the type of jerkwad who would abandon a girl in this state, are you? I guess I can stay. <laughs> if you don't mind lending me a blanket, I can sleep right here. I'll be out the door before you even wake up. I'll grab something soft. <laughs> Riku? Hmm? I can't thank you enough for coming over. You gave me no choice. You could always sleep in my bedroom if you want to. I'll leave. <laughs> something. It'd be my fault, so I'd have to take care of you. Not that I'd really mind. <sighs> wow, pretty standard looking breakfast. Seriously? You know, a little white lie has never killed anyone, so just tell me it looks tasty. Had I known this was happening, I would have learned to cook something fancier. I might have Miss Morinome give me a lesson someday. <laughs> Speaking of, have you seen Teach around recently? Uh, well, yeah, occasionally. We're already on the topic of Shinako. I should just tell her. Hey, so, uh, Haru? Huh? Uh, What's up? Mind if I use your bathroom? What am I doing? Jeez. Oh, yeah. They caught whoever broke into your house, right? That's the word on the street. I'm normally okay on my own, but that scared me bad. Like, what do you do? Call the police, I guess. Living by yourself comes with a lot of perks, but it's hard when things like that happen. And voila! Ta-da! Haru's ultimate chocolate cake is ready. So, what do you think? <sighs> I think I could learn a thing or two from you. You're one tough cookie. I'll take that as a compliment, though tough is a weird thing to call an adorable girl such as yours truly. But yeah, I have been rather fearless lately. Hmm? It's delicious. All right, I'm headed out. I'll be busier once school starts tomorrow. We may not be able to see each other as much as we do now. Maybe, but I've been busy lately. And that's worked out okay. Yeah, you're right. Does mackerel sound good? It's chef's choice. Wow, this 
looks so tasty. You'll have to eat it to find out. Thank you for dinner. I'm of the belief that food always tastes better when you share it. Am I dreaming? <laughs> Give me a break. to stick it out here. Uh-huh, exactly. Huh? They gifted us this massive fish. Dad and I are clueless on how to cook the thing. We wanted to give it to you. Do whatever you want with it. <sighs> What's up? You don't want it? It's not that. I do. I can drop it off real quick. It's almost like you sound distracted. Is someone there? No, nobody's here. Yeah, sounds good. I'll see you soon. So, is that my cue to leave? Sorry. Those exams are coming up really soon. I thought it through and decided to keep quiet about us until they're over. Yeah, I can see how that would be a pain if you found out. Bye. I'm so sorry. I'll come by your apartment on Sunday. Be home, all right? Uh... Right. Kyoko! Got Haru's ultimate bagel sandwiches? I'd like to order two, please. With your employee discount, that'll be 630 yen. Yeah, <sighs> I threw in some free coffee, too. You're the best, boss. Thanks. It's a little odd to buy sandwiches that you made. Care to clue me in on what you're up to? Well, duh. It's the love of a craftsman. I believe there's love, but I have a feeling that it isn't toward your sandwich-making skills. You act all mature, but you're just as nosy as the rest of us. Hush. You know what? If you told your buddy Riguo to come visit you at the shop sometime, I wouldn't need to be nosy. Jeez. Bye. Have a nice day. That was seriously so good. It has to be the millionth time you've told me. I'm entirely self-taught when it comes to cooking. Keep on saying that and I'll think you're being sarcastic. I'm not. I just have a crappy vocabulary. <laughs> You've always been that way. Back in college, I used to think about how difficult it must be to express yourself as a man of so few words. <sighs> so, are you telling me you thought I was stupid? I'm going to say something that might sound mean. Huh? I had to sit in on lectures for you, help you with reports, and wake you up before exams. I was your friend, of course, but I also thought you were just about the biggest loser that I'd ever met. Uh... <laughs> it's okay, look at how good you're doing now. Do you want a special lunch bento as a reward? Wait a sec. I mean, yes, but you can't tear me to shreds, then distract me with food. I'm only doing this to thank him for all the trouble. I'm not trying to be needy, but will it come off that way? I'll just say hello and hand him the bag. If he's not home, I'll hang it on his doorknob. Perfect. Well, can I look forward to that bento? Do you have any special requests? Sorry, one. We don't need to rush. I really can't walk myself home. Nope. It's too dark. This way, I'll know you're safe.
sure do live in a small world. Eriko's apartment must be the place to be tonight. for you. You've liked her forever, so... Poor guy's been wrapped around your finger. That blows. There's no point in saying that now. I've known this would happen since the beginning. Feelings change. It's, it's a part of life. about me. Does your girlfriend whip you up a homemade lunch every single day? Sounds like a real keeper to me. She'll leave if you let her spoil you too much. I'm not saying pay for the ingredients, but you gotta show some serious gratitude. All right. You know, you could throw me some gratitude and set me up with one of her friends. I'll give it a shot. stuff. Hey, congrats on your acceptance. We owe it all to you guys. The fact you're in the same program is crazy. Should make for a fun entrance ceremony. <laughs> it's a little scary. The college will just be more of the same. We'll come back to visit you. That ceremony's soon. Know what you're wearing? Of course I do. Gotta stay one step ahead. It worries me when you say stuff like one step ahead. You only scheme like that when your favorite lady is involved. Well, my scheming days are through. It's time for action. <laughs> like Thanks for making today special. Of course. You should be celebrated. You earned it. Dang, guess I should look for a job now. Remember, your main job as a student is to study. School comes first. I have to get ready to move, too. What area are you thinking? Somewhere halfway between your place and school? That'd be good, yeah. If I'm far, how could you cook for me? You expect me to cook for you while you're in college? What? You mean you're not going to? No, absolutely I will. Just not as often as now. I imagine there has to be a cafeteria on your campus. Besides, you'll want to be with your new friends. What's wrong? You were only being kind because you felt responsible. No, that's not true. <sighs> Come back! It's me. I figured that you would have called by now. Uh, sorry. I just got back home. Uh, that's right. So how did celebrating the kid go? Fine. Up until I managed to make him angry at me. You told him about us. Was it bad? Uh, uh not yet. This was something else. You mean he still doesn't know? It's just that... I don't like being secretive. Sure. I'll find the right time. Moving along, is there anything I can help you with this week? Huh? 
I owe you big time. Those bentos saved me. You shouldn't feel like you owe me. I enjoy making them. I'm sure that's true, but still. Here's an idea. How about you pay the next time we decide to eat out for dinner? That I can do. Wow, aren't you speedy? I guess so. Give me a second. We should grab some drinks. It's been too long. Okay, just one for me. Time flies, doesn't it? It feels like we were just sending off graduates yesterday, and now we're already on to the next group of students. For me, the year ended pretty uneventfully. Just the same old, same old. Nothing new. But I hear that you have something new, or should I say someone new? Huh? I got an eyewitness account of you walking alongside some mystery man on New Year's. Uh, yeah. Is it that boy from college? Um, that's right. Aww. <laughs> Guess we have to dissolve the Sheena Cochastity Protection Squad. Is that really squad worthy? Actually, there's been a bit of a holdup in that department. Hmm? Huh? That's probably a bad thing, right? Uh, so... You've been seeing him for three months and haven't done anything? It just sounds bad! Be honest with me, am I doing something terrible? Maybe you aren't ready for a relationship, because by no means should you feel guilty about that. So, uh, it's okay? Absolutely. Make him wait. You aren't teenagers anymore. Poor guy's been wrapped around your finger. That blows. You were only being kind because you felt responsible. Don't do anything that you aren't comfortable with. It's never worth it, trust me. It's been a while. How are you? Hey, doing well. It feels like forever. Did you get the day off from your job, or...? Nope. I start work in the afternoon today. So, uh, is Milk Hall closed? Looks pretty empty. <sighs> yeah, it is. We had to cut down on our lunch hours recently. I guess you could say we're severely short-staffed at the moment. Uh... Come by and grab some coffee whenever you're free. Though Haru won't be there. Sorry about that. I'm late, aren't I? Not at all. I just got here. I wonder what today's special is. I thought I'd try the Amberjack Teriyaki. Gosh, I need a second. I'm stuck between the sashimi and the hearth-baked mackerel. Reminds me. Have you ever been to the aquarium that's nearby? Fukuda says it's great. We could go this weekend. So, you're busy. Udo asked me to help him move into his new place. What should I do? You can help him. It's not like we had any concrete plans. We'll go another time. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Relax. The fish won't swim away. Maybe this is my chance to tell him about us. Yeah, that's a great idea. I had lots of fun today. Thanks for dinner. Sure. You'll be hearing from me. We can just grab some food again. Nothing too crazy. Sounds great. Hey, would you like to come in? No, it's fine. Okay. Don't look so relieved. <laughs> Please don't be nervous around me. 
I would never dream of pressuring you. I know. It's not about that. Makes sense. We've been friends for such a long time. It's hard for you to switch gears. I'm so sorry. You thought I was a loser. Maybe deep down you still do. If you need anything more of me, I'll work hard to meet your expectations. Hear me when I say there's nothing wrong with you. In some ways, you haven't changed at all since college, huh? In all the years I've known you, you've never been the best with women. Please don't worry. I'd feel awful if you doubted yourself because of me. So no, I don't need anything more of you. Just be here. Stay by my side. I won't expect any more than that. And I won't ask you to make promises. If you just stay the same person you've always been, that would be enough. Shinako. I just walk in on. Shinako. <gasps> You're here. The hell? Mind telling me what I just walked in on? <sighs> Shinako. Come on. Say something. She's my... I wasn't asking you. I need to hear this from her. <laughs> Whatever. So be it. Uh, oh, wait! Shinako! if I got upset? Oh, no! You're wrong. I can't lose you. Our relationship means more to me than words can say. It'd fall apart if I told you. That's what I thought. Save your breath. <gasps> I knew how this would go! I try and I try and I never win. It's whatever. It doesn't matter who you're with. My brother or someone new. I, I just want for you to be happy, okay? I get that now, but I need some time. Am I pathetic or just oblivious? You like him. I never noticed. Check it out. I got first place in the drawing contest we had at school today. You deserve it for that amazing portrait. <laughs> Come on out. The last few relatives just arrived. What are you doing? I'm getting stuff together to put in a used coffin. Hey, doll. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Why would you? Doesn't look like him. I think it captures the spirit well. I always thought as I got older we would get closer, but now... I'm scared we might just be growing further apart. I've watched you too. And I'll watch you for as long as it takes... to find out who you'll become. Who 
is it? Huh? Let me crash here. Huh? Say something. I wasn't asking you. I need to hear this from her. I get it. So that's how it is. Come on, Mr. Gloomy. Don't worry about me. I... anything really changed. He just dropped from more than a friend status to less than one. I've been prepared for that to happen since the beginning. I should congratulate the two of them. Next time I see Rikuo, I will. What am I thinking? I have no idea if I'll ever see him again. I thought moving farther away from him would help me feel better. This loneliness is tearing me up. Sounds good. So, you're gonna be a homeroom teacher now? That's right. For a third year college prep class. I'll have a lot more on my plate now. What about you? Well, I'm getting by. I wanted to ask, how's the kid? Uh... Ro, is he okay? I don't really know. Got it. Here. Much appreciated. It's been a minute. We used to come here all the time in college to see the cherry blossoms fall. We don't get many chances to hang out like that anymore, huh? Maybe that's a good thing. We had too much time on our hands back then. We'd find any excuse we could to go out, drink, and crash at whoever's place was closest. <laughs> How do we have so much energy? I couldn't live like that now. Because having fun was our top priority. That's the same mentality that got me stuck at the convenience store. Building a career felt daunting, and I couldn't motivate a job hunt. <laughs> if it weren't for Fukuda, I'd be stuck in that dead-end job. I seriously doubt you'd still be working there. You think I wouldn't be? Of course not. Jeez, I guess life is full of surprises after all. The most mind-boggling being that I'm in a relationship with you. That came out of nowhere. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? Since that day Ro saw us, I felt like, like I don't know what we are. Huh? Is that because of how I reacted to him? Did I too? No. I do think there's a problem, but we're both a part of it. When I first started dating you, well, I was over the moon. 
I could barely believe it. It was like a dream come true. But deep down inside, something didn't feel right. Great, there goes my brain sabotaging my happiness. I was completely overwhelmed by all of the joy that had suddenly rained down into my life. I started to doubt myself and how you actually felt about me. That must be because I'm constantly making you worry. That's not why. And even if you make me nervous from time to time, I promise it doesn't matter. Huh? I've realized something. I can't say it out loud. I can't say I love you. I know this isn't right. Who means more to you? Bro or me? Be honest. My feelings won't get hurt. That isn't fair. Who is my family? He's always been beside me. that this kid would do anything for you, right? There's no way he's gonna sit on his hands, especially when his competition is a dope like me. <laughs> huh? Uh, well, that's my guess, at least. friendship. The scenic route. I mean no offense by this, but we're too similar. This is better for us. Way less pressure. Huh? So friends? You'll still want to hang out, won't you? What's your next move? Are you going to talk to Nonaka? Should I tell her? Absolutely! You have to! Wish me luck. Don't get your doom and gloom on the veggies. You're making your mom sad. I get the feeling you're doing all these chores because you feel bad for barging in on short notice. But we're happy just having you here with us. This place is your home too, you know. You can take all the time you need. Relationships are just illusions, right? What does it even mean to love someone? Do you feel stupid butterflies in your stomach and smile when you see them? Do they make you happy? What does it mean for me to be happy? Where do I belong?
after all I've done, how the hell am I going to face her? Thinking about it isn't going to help. You don't even deserve to think about it. Should I ask for permission first? No, that's stupid. Come on, man, where's your pride? Maybe I'm more self-conscious than most people. No, you're just selfish. What if she says you're selfish? What's wrong with being selfish? And what do you do if she won't hear you out? You're completely imposing. Why would she? Why would she trust you? You think you can convince her you're sincere if you choose good words? Yeah, right. If you could do that, you'd be someone else entirely. Get real. You know exactly what you are. It's never that you love anyone. You just need a warm body to give you attention. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm selfish, and I'm human, and I'm trying. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. This is fine. At the bare minimum, she thinks I'm good looking. I'm doing the right thing, I'm almost certain of it. But the right thing can be scary. I've got to be honest with myself. I can't go through life repeating the same mistakes. I refuse to. Drop this. That's the most important thing I own. Hey, thanks a lot. Came to see me? Give me a second to choose my words. <sighs> the hell does that mean? So I just sit here? You should know. Shinako broke up with me. <sighs> you came crawling all the way to me because Teach finally dumped your sorry ass? <laughs> That's what's going on, yeah? Oh, jeez. Of course you'd see it that way. But am I right? Whatever. Let's go with that. You can't say whatever. That part is mega important. I get how crap. 
crappy I've been and how bad this looks. Anything I say will sound like an excuse. Then just tell me your excuse already! Start with why she dumped you. Well, we talked things through, and we came to the conclusion that we were both confused. I don't get where you're going with this. <sighs> Come on, I said I need some time to choose my words. Cut me some slack, please. Love stuff is hard. I don't have the vocabulary or brains for it. But, that said, I do know I like it when a woman is nice to me. And it'd be pretty great if that kindness could go on forever. That's what I always thought love was. But guess what? This chick, this incomprehensible person, crashes into my life like a car accident. And I tried, but I couldn't help... They couldn't help but to think that this incredibly weird girl was cute. And now I'm here. Because I finally realized that. So yeah, I got it all wrong. Until right now. Well, I might be doing it wrong. Just tell me what you're trying to say. I'm trying to tell you that I think... I think I'm in love with you! So you... You get 35 points! Huh? Want a higher score? Redo that confession for me. Uh, no way in hell. You do it if you're really in love. How would I even go about that? <laughs> Happy New Place Day! Yay, Ro! Day one, and they made a Takeshita mess. Takeshita heard a rumor about you. Hmm? That you finally found yourself a girl! Oh, yeah, that's a secret. Huh? Is this your sketchbook, dude? Hey, I never said you could touch that! Huh? Uh. <laughs> Screw you guys. Uh, doorbell! And I didn't say you could answer that! Do you dorks have any manners? Going down. Not anytime soon. Izawa still has a couple things he needs to take care of before our big day. Yeah! Riku will better plan the coolest proposal! Going on a date soon? Yep! You should actually be here by now. How awkward. We overthink things and get lost in yesterday. But still, no matter how turned around we get, our silly lives go on. <laughs>